Welcome, archaeologists. It is Sunday night, and that means it is time for the weekly dig. For anyone new to the stream, this is a live show where we dig into anime old and new. I am Brent. These are my fabulous co hosts, John. Konbanwa, Mina. And Steve. Hello. Let us start our dig tonight by not analyzing an anime movie or TV series from the, <laughs> from the past. We are going to do a seasonal anime. Yeah. Review, review, kind of a thing. Yeah. Yep. Um, we're a couple of weeks late from the start, uh, the full start of the season. We have our thoughts here on. I think we have twenty-seven anime to talk about yeah, today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so let us go ahead. I'm going to just pull in um, some views of a few things, and uh, let us start out by talking about Akiba Made War. This is available on High Dive. Um, it is about maids at war. <laughs> Done. Next show. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're, that pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it's got interesting characters, I mean, I guess. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's primarily, it's a, it's Yakuza maids, basically. Yeah. yeah Yakuza maids, I think, is a good, good example. To be oh, clear, wow. you know, it is, it is. So the other interesting thing is it is set in 1999. Hmm. Um, but in a sort of alternate timeline where maid cafes, like we see a maid cafe, like this opening sequence is, I think, what, 85? Something yes. like that? 85? Yes, that's the um, very opening. And there are clearly like maid cafes in 1985 in Akihabara. So something else is going on here. Um, and um, very quickly, um, someone gets murdered. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a, oh a dear. Maid gets shot. Oh, dear. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, not to get into too much spoilers, but yes, these are maids, um, and yes, they go and they, they have things to do, um, but then um, things happen, um, and uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good lord! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it rapidly. I, 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 gets I don't have really weird. <laughs> okay, so folks, I don't have high dive, so some of the stuff I haven't seen yet. So yeah. I'm saying this this headshot for the first time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, That's what I told Brent. I'd I'd watched it earlier in the week, and it's like it got to this point of the episode. It's just my jaw just went down. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> and, and this is the weird thing about the show is that it's very cutesy maids. It is then like ultra violence, but then the ultra violence is very Looney Tunes at times. Yeah. So like she hits the floor. I, I wonder if we, if I can show you this. She hits the floor, and then. Um, like this continues to spurt blood onto her. Uh, um, no, we can't, we can't do that. Hit, um, her, onto her paper bib. <laughs> yes, um, and it just it just keeps on doing that like over and over and over again. Um, oh, like God. running gag of just like from oh, across God. the room, it just keeps on spurting over oh, and God. over and over. <laughs> To the so, yeah. dulcet tones of a water whistle, that sounds like a tweeting bird, that <laughs> kind of noise. Where it's oh like, God. really? <laughs> like, oh my oh. God. Uh, so, yeah. Weird show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, still not quite sure what the plan Oh, was. no, she's wearing the little hat. Yeah, she's wearing the little hat. Oh, um, no. The main characters are from a pig themed cafe. They're from oh. a uh, uh, obviously a bunny themed cafe. They're rivals. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why are they killing each other? Oh, yeah. Oh. Um. So yeah, that's that's definitely a thing. I enjoyed it. I'm definitely you know. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll have to check somehow check this out. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I I threw me for a loop. I had no idea that it was literally going to be a maid war, but <laughs> I. It was mm -hmm. enjoyable. It was a weird show, and it's like, it's yeah. Like, mm -hmm. and, cool. and I, I think I, you know, to that point, like it does both of those things very well. Yeah, right. Like cute maid ridiculousness, crazy ultra violence. So curious to see where that's gonna go. Uh, let's move on to Beast Tamer. <laughs> oh, stop it! Kit, <laughs> which is what we said the entire time. Oh, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Um, <clears throat> it is um, kind of so it's not an isekai, which is it might look like it. Um, but basically, young man, you know, going off 
to uh, start his own sort of adventuring life as a uh, beast tamer. And it's the, you know, the so you're a RPG style, style world. He's going out to do that. And that's, if I recall correctly, that's basically, oh, the, oh yeah, then, then the thing. Then the yeah. thing, yes, very much the thing. Yeah. Um, comes across a cat girl and discovers that he can tame a cat girl. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> um, who seems fine with it, I guess. But he's um, such a nice guy, so exactly. why not? So it's okay. Yeah, exactly. yeah. it's no, fine. No, 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 no. It's totally fine. fine. It's fine. Yeah. Well, um, I like the fact that it was a fantasy, so we're not mm -hmm. we're not yeah, sure. things again. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's fairly kind of generic. I mean, yeah. it, it's. I guess it's nice to see a character who who has obviously something mm -hmm. going on where he's OP, but he doesn't think he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like. Oh ha ha ha! I can do the thing. Oh my gosh, really? It's like, mm -hmm. uh, okay, that you know, that's kind of he'll learn as he goes along. Eh. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'll be a nice lunchtime watch. I'll, I'll enjoy yeah. that for that. Yeah, um, it's a harem show, like yeah. clearly. I think the the opening credit. Yeah, like I think yeah, that's the, yeah. That's the, yeah. the crew he's with. Yeah, I mean, there's like a whole of... the the credit scene shows like a whole bunch of other tamed girls yeah. of various sorts. So yeah, so we're we're, we're definitely going there. Yeah. Um, but, you know, inoffensive. Other than the taming a girl. Human, yeah. Somewhat yeah. human being. Um, it just, I can't get <clears throat> over the weirdness of that. But, you know, yeah. it's clearly not meant to be creepy. We're glad they, they gravitated away from, like, oh, now let me apply the slave crest to be like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah no. no thank you. Yeah, no, no. No. And that, we, we, we call that out. That, you know, he, he, he tames her, he does the contract, no collar. Right. I was expecting yeah. there to be a little red collar or something to indicate. No, nope, nope, none of that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they just they just form the contract and the, and that's it. Like, yep. great. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And the next creepy. episode is called Rule Thirty Four. And... <laughs> <laughs> Do they even need to? Though I, the internet can take care of that. We're fine. Oh, I mean, given what this is, there's going to be a hot springs. Just oh, yes. Hot springs moment. yes. Good and question. Be attacking some monster going through the mountains mm -hmm. and be like, we're so hot and tired. Look, there's a hot spring. <laughs> like, yeah. there we go. Yep. Okay, exactly. fine. Totally. Um, um, so we have to, we, we do this alphabetically, which which tends to introduce a little bit of whiplash. Sometimes. <clears throat> Let's yeah. talk about Berserk. Ooh. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my, um, indeed. Yeah. So to be clear about this, um, this this is a series of movies that came out a couple of years ago that they are now re-editing and kind of re reworking into a TV series. Um, All right. So it's technically you know technically not a new TV series, but you know fair enough. Um, and this is an adaptation of the iconic shonen manga, I guess seinen manga, Berserk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very very violent, highly violent. Mm -hmm. Um, this, uh, this okay. So if you're under, if you're watching right now, <clears throat> and you're under, you know, thirteen, I guess this is the thing that your mom is not going to let you watch. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, uh, so the, the I enjoyed it, of course, because uh, yeah. but also I've always, I've always enjoyed the franchise except for the various hiccups that it's had over the years. Mm -hmm. um, but I enjoyed this first episode simply because I was I think I was saying that. Um, to you guys last night, I was just like, it's just not necessarily a fresh approach, but it just seems that like this just fits more and it gets more into the point of guts mm -hmm. and we get to Griffith more quickly and mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that, that kind of thing. But it is definitely an adult. Uh, they are not squeamish about blood. Um, you know, this is, this is a thing. And um, they're very quite frank about, stuff this is the way yeah. the berserk the berserk but berserk franchise has always been that way they're yeah. just very frank about you know, sexuality and things like mm -hmm. that nature going on and um you know and then all the jokes and ensue that you can say as you watch the, as you watch this thing what, you, you mean berserk and this pretty lady here or yeah this pretty lady here it, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah right <laughs> yeah well the first time we got a good look at griffin that's like like the first thing I'm like, who's right. that? Chick? 
<laughs> yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, no, no, mm-hmm. no. We know that much now. Yeah. Um, but it's also interesting for the combination of 2D and 3D. Yes. Um, so like that whole battle scene is all 3D and right. they transition to a lot of the character moments to 2D. I think it works like no no problems at all there. Right. Um, yeah, I mean they did an excellent job with that battle. I mean yeah. they they did. That and was just like holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean I I God, you know, like when I used to watch uh, not used to but when I watch movies with you know like Gladiator with the big war scenes mm-hmm. at the beginning, like yeah. I am always inside of like war, you know, just like you know, Aries, you know, invoking Aries, <laughs> whatever, watching these kinds of things. And you know, just watching this battle scene, which was I think really well done. I mean, they really yeah. did they paid attention to enough details of this that if you are you know like me one of those guys who likes to pick at historical stuff Mm -hmm. from time to time you'll enjoy like seeing what they say how they use the trebuchets ladder Mm -hmm. warfare how the you know the bring the siege machines up and all that and it's just really just kind of nice to see violence done well (laughs) yeah (laughs) (laughs) well it's also it's just one of those wow you know every year you know moore's law Every six months, you get mm-hmm. advances in, in, in computing capacity. And it's like every year we see more application yeah. of better 3D mm-hmm. in the anime where it's like, oh, wow. You know, you just, you're really nailed it on this. It's, 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 a, very, it's a very tense yeah. battle with mm-hmm. nothing to distract you from like just the pure action of what's mm-hmm. going on. It's like, geez. Yeah. They also did a really good job. And granted, this is a lot of this is budget, but. I never felt like any of the like background characters were just kind of um, 3D models just plunked down to fill out the space. Everyone yeah. was reacting to things. Like there was clear line of sight between different people. Like, like these all felt like actual human beings in a battle. Right. And I still say Bazo, the Bazo fight between mm-hmm. Guts and Bazo reminded me of the, the Roy Mercury fight in, in Gate. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 So good on them there. If, if you're into this yeah. kind of thing, this will definitely be yeah. up your valley. Exactly. No copy pasta. Um, speaking of copy pasta, <laughs> speaking of um, of not putting quite the effort into it, you might. <laughs> um, oh, we're going to talk about Biblia File Princess. Huh. Yeah. I was looking forward to this one because I really like the premise, I really like the idea. Um, and there are definitely some interesting ideas here. There's definitely, there, there, there's meat on them bones, but the first episode does not help. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's... folks, wow. just to give you an idea, I was waved off of this because I, because mm-hmm. I wasn't able to be here on, on Saturday. So I was yeah. just kind of trying to watch through this and they're just like, and last night I had a lot to watch oh. through after talking to them and they're just like, maybe save this until the end and if you're awake enough to watch it go ahead but if not fortunately it was on high dive so i didn't get to see it but uh mm-hmm. i i um, always waved off it, it's it's certainly not terrible so basically main yeah. character is a girl who was um who's courted by the prince he proposes to her um when she's they they, they don't make it cl- <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like they're um, very young when she's eight I think it is, isn't it? No. It, I, I think that's another one because I think she's. That's like, another oh, one. That's that's another yeah, okay, one. Okay, okay, right, yeah, okay. yeah. Is that the is villainous? She, and, yeah, it's the villainous uh, one. Yeah, the villainous one. Yeah, yeah. The, okay, yeah, that's yeah. that other one. Sorry. Yeah, so she's like twelve-ish here. Yeah. Um, and he says basically, "Look, I like you. I want you as my my bride. Um, not today. <laughs> Down the road. Um, and she's like from a fairly minor noble house." And he actually addresses that and says, that's good for me because there will be no, you know, conflict for the throne from your side of things. Like, it's a very safe marriage for me. Also, I know you like books. I have a giant library. So you can just go read all day and be happy and, like, you know, all's well and ends well. Just give me a son. Yeah. <laughs> when the time I'll comes. visit you occasionally and you will produce mm-hmm. for me an heir. Oh. Exactly. Oh, my. Um, and so... We then meet all of the you know Otome game characters in the in the palace. So the royal captain of the royal guard and all the various you know 
hot guys surrounding yeah, all, all this. All the beautiful guys that exactly. surround her. Um, and then this, and again, I really appreciate this. Um, something happens in the library, and she's not allowed into the library for a little while. And she bumps into another girl who kind of leaves quickly. And they're like, no, no, it's, it's okay. You just you go and stay in your room for a while. She has no idea what's going on. By the way, years have passed by this point. Yeah. It's like four she, years, I think it was. Yeah. That? Yeah. So she's like 16-ish. Um, she's just been reading in the library the entire time. What is, eventually comes out of this episode is basically there's a bunch of stuff going on. She has no idea what's going on because she took him up on the deal. She's been quietly reading the entire time. She has no idea the politics that are going on. She has no clue what's actually going on. And as a result, she is periphery to everything. And then, of course, you know, another girl shows up. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Who is giggling, you know, at the, uh, at the prince. So, Something's going on. Um, they do not explain kind of what's what all the, the various things are. Um, I like the premise, but this episode, I just described the entirety of this first episode. Yeah. That that could have just been a, like a nice OVA of about eight minutes versus <laughs> 23 minutes of dragging this yeah. out forever. Yeah, it, it really felt like that should have been the cold open. Yeah. And then we get into the actual meat of the episode. Other weird thing, this is what, my madhouse? Yeah. I couldn't believe when you said that. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> madhouse did this. So I don't know what deal they made. Um, I don't know what was going on. Um, but like I said, like there's, there's plot, there's potential for this. It was just the first episode is kind of a slot. Well, I have a feeling it's, it will develop very interestingly. Mm -hmm. But ah, man, I just I get the sense that just from this intro to it, yeah. this first episode, all of the pieces, parts of the tangled web of politics mm -hmm. and, and interpersonal relationships mm -hmm. is going to really be drug out yeah. in its entirety, the whole thing to the point where it's just not going to be worth the time. I bet to mm -hmm. piece it all together. And yeah. that prove oh, me wrong, children, prove me wrong. Yeah. <laughs> And something else we, we pointed out is that um, protagonist Chan is complete tabula rasa. Like, yeah. no personality whatsoever. So, that doesn't help. But, hope oh, here's something. Um, do we, we, we can talk a little bit about the new Bleach. Okay. Um, which we only got a little ways through. It's kind of worth talking about. Um, so, this is a thousand year war. Um, the fifth story arc, I thought the fifth arc, I think, being adapted. Um, coming, Bleach coming back to do the thing. Um, full disclosure, we watched some of it and realized this is clearly like a season five or whatever you'd call it. Like this is, yeah. this is you, you need to have watched the previous X hundred episodes of Bleach to understand this. But, I mean, definitely the budget's there. The characters are there. I really like the, the big twist with these two new characters they introduced, what they kind of did with that. Um, it's a lot of, it was a lot of fun. Based on what the way you guys were describing it to me, <clears throat> it seems like that if you are a Bleach fan, mm -hmm. which I kind of yeah. am, then this is – oh, yeah, her. Okay. So, see, there we go. Um, uh, I think that's – I know. It's, it's not her, um, actually. Yeah. It's a guy. <laughs> okay. But, um, okay. It's Griffin. Um, no, what? No, it's Griffin. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, no. But it, 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 it seems like that this would be the the next thing to watch and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. enjoy and, and process. Well, to that point, um, you know, bad things happen. Right. Um, there's usually. a big fight, as, as, as you might imagine. Um, pay no attention to any of this because it's bleach. Like, anyone can, yeah. can come back from any, yeah. any wound. Yeah. Um, but then, of course, you know, our heroes show up. We have a big... Big cool fight with them. Um, and while this is playing, there is a like heavy metal song playing in the background in the lyrics. What was it? Um, 
this is what you've been wanting to see. Yeah, that's what you were saying. I'm like, I didn't even hear that lyric, but then you started to get me to pay attention to it. I'm like, oh, it's kind of sort of like, what? You made us do this. Here it is. Now I like it. Enjoy it. Love it. Soak it up. Yep. You've been complaining. Pay we're the back. monies. We have a budget now. Yep. Pay yeah. the monies. Um, but it was, honestly, as somebody who, like, um, picked up the manga back when it first came out, started watching the anime, kind of dropped it, like, I felt hyped watching this 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 sequence. It, it, it felt oh Ichigo's back like he's he's a, he's he's kicking butt. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean the bits and pieces I've seen of Bleach from Adult Swim days and Tsunami mm-hmm. days. It it there there you go. There's Ichigo. Bleach. There's there's the gang. There's Bleach. <laughs> it's like you know mm-hmm. it's they've spent the money to make it the quality that it is, and mm-hmm. you know they. Thankfully, you know, they gave you an intro, a couple of characters, things are going on, and then you introduce the powerhouse team, and it's like, yeah, okay, now we're right on the road. We, we, yep. we cut out all this buildup. We've, mm-hmm. we've kept it a short intro to get right onto our heroes. So like, okay, yeah. yep, mm-hmm. you're absolutely delivering what people have been asking for. So, yeah, cool. Again, thank you, creators, for only waiting, you know, eight minutes in to bring yeah. in Ichigo and yeah. the rest. It's like, yeah. good. Yeah, thank you. Um, all right, let's move on to this to our top pick of the season, Blue Lock. Yes, yes. No, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Before, before you go over, mm-hmm. I, I have to um, make my face the way that so that we can do this properly. <laughs> <laughs> my God! <laughs> yeah. Oops, I just pulled out the uh, the cord in my headphones doing that. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's soccer, obviously. Um, but it's, it's not just soccer. It's just it's... intense soccer. That's what's going on. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> yeah. Um, so it's great. It, I mean, we've, we've got our sports show yeah. this season. So. Yeah. Sports show this season. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the twist is, and we, we should explain, that it's not simply that. Um, no, it can, top, never be it can never be supposed to be just that. <laughs> um, 300 promising teenage boys are all brought into a room. That just sounds horrible. <laughs> 300 <laughs> hot, sweaty teenage boys. I don't know why this is a problem. All um, locked together in a facility. Exactly. Oh, oh yep. wow. Wearing skin tight uniforms. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Um, Competing in uh, physical challenges. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah it's, very cool. and it's only seven forty-five. We, <laughs> uh, and now you have the despicable, despicable me villain up there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Totally. Um, I thought it was Bo a... Howard from the Three Stooges. But... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, now you're. <laughs> yeah, we Can you on. tell we didn't yeah. like this one? <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, they're, they're all challenged to basically complete these things, and the uh, the um, I, I believe the one who wins, the one who gets to who, who finishes it in like six months, is guaranteed a spot on the whatever like the Japanese Olympic team, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other two hundred ninety nine can never play soccer in Japan again. Dun dun dun. Um, Because, you know, because they can do that. (laughs) Right, exactly. (laughs) Because they've spoken spoken to every soccer team in Japan. Because there, nobody has a good lawyer. Okay. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, the do not compete agreement was, was drafted, and apparently nobody on the kids' team you know, side looked at any of the yeah, words. Clearly. Um, We're banned forever? Sure. Sure, that's yeah. just what we'll say today. Sure. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're combining you know, sports anime and kind of, you know, lock escape room-esque kind of competition um, things. What are you going to do to survive survival game? Yeah. I guess more. Um, it's like it's like yeah. Squid Game ex- for soccer, and nobody actually dies. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Not, not that yeah. we know of. Oh, no. true, true. Yeah, it could be a meat um, grinder off in the corner somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and quite honestly, after about six episodes, I might die. I just, actually, <laughs> you know? John and Chat makes a good point. Okay, so do all of this, get booted out, and then go to Argentina. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah. They'll hire you in a heartbeat. That's a great point. They, they will pay you money. And they, yeah. <laughs> you were number 25 in this competition? That's amazing. Here's two million dollars. <laughs> Oh, and wow. as soon as you kids hit 18 and you can go and hire your own attorney, then you can have the whole thing about minors entering into a binding contract. Hey, hey, hey that's right. <laughs> uh, um, <but> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can rather safely move on. But, and, and, to be fair, like it is, it, 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 it is very much doing the thing it promises to do. Yes, like, yes. if you like sports, you like this. I, I can totally understand why people are like, oh my gosh, Blue Lock is like my jam. Totally get it. Just not our jam. No. Yeah. Um, what was more our jam was Be, because we. I need the blink, and nobody yeah, blinks exactly. in the show. If you blink, that means you're not paying attention. And if you're not paying attention, you oh, fail. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Bachi the Rock. Oh gosh, I'm so glad you guys showed me this last night. I love Bochi. Glad we could. Um, yeah. So it's what Hamote with a guitar. Yeah, basically. Um, Although she's not nearly as creepy as Watamoto. <laughs> no, no. Um, that's very true. Socially so, inept, yes, but not creepy. <laughs> so, so, it's interesting here. So for those not familiar, Watamoto is a girl who has extreme social anxiety and is, and is kind of a, a, a complete mess. Um, main character here is has extreme social anxiety and is not a complete mess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's just very shy, very quiet, doesn't really have a lot of uh, um, friends in school. And has outstanding interior dialogue. Yeah. True. <laughs> so this is the one where if you guys are, you know, the music fans, if you're like me and mm. you kind of go onto the internet and you find actual musicians who do the thing they do, maybe they're part of a band or whatever, but on their own hook, they kind of, do guitar riffs and they throw it out there for people to watch and stuff like that. This is mm -hmm. kind of like that, or it starts off like that. And <clears throat> it's just kind of, for me, it just kind of clicked because the, those are kinds of things I look at, at, you know, on when I'm watching just regular YouTube or, mm -hmm. or, or stuff, you know, always looking for new music and new musicians. And this is kind of nice because it, it really does um, help explain, you know, or not explain, but kind of show the story of people who have a talent and they want to, mm -hmm give it to you mm -hmm. and but they're they're kind of blocked in, in being able to do that because you know it's yeah. not always e it's easy to go in front of a camera with without a, a, you know people behind it yeah. but and it's much harder to actually be out there you know in front of people and, and just just on the everyday basis for this poor girl but it's just really nice and you know in that aspect of it and while i'm kind of waxing philosophical it's presented in such a irreverent way that it is mm -hmm. great and is her dialogue and her interior dialogue and the way she presents herself is just, it's great. I just love the, yeah. the fact that I don't know if this is, no, I don't think this is a spoiler. She performs in a box and I'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, you, so I am, I am very much looking forward to more of this. I'll watch it. Yes. This, this, this will be on my list of, of, of the things mm -hmm. that I think I need to watch. This, this is on yeah. my list. Screwball comedy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and it's nice that even in in this short single episode, we've got, you know, she's got this anxiety. Mm. She's overcoming it. She's posting online. She's getting yeah. people following her. She's getting. It's like these incremental steps. Yeah. Where she is sort of coming out of mm -hmm. of her isolation. You know, she's yep. burning CDs for people if if they wouldn't mm -hmm. ever want them. She's mm -hmm. you know trying to dress like a like a rocker chick you know she's mm -hmm. she's doing these little things still dealing with the anxiety mm -hmm. but it's like you know you can see where she's already making progression in this yeah. so that it's like okay this is nice because I, I i feel we're going to have a nice enjoyable ride we get maybe get some here some good music i wanted yeah. her to play stairway to heaven but you know <laughs> Or so, uh, Hotel and, California or something, you know. And and actually, to your point, John, I didn't even think about it until this point. She's doing this on her own for yeah. the most part. True. For, yeah. For the most of the episode, this so this isn't so much as oh, we're gonna find this poor girl and bring her out of her shell like in Comey can't communicate. Mm -hmm. I still adore and love it. For sure. God, God help me if I ever get the figurines. Um, mm -hmm. But Which this you will, Steve. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> oh God. Uh, anyway, so in this one, you know, she's actively trying to yeah. get there. 
Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and and in, in the plateau she hits, that's when she starts getting the help. Yeah. Although nobody realizes that they're helping her, and she doesn't realize that she that they're help, helping her. Yeah. Right, that, but it's just it's just fun. I'm sorry, you gotta yeah. watch it. Can we just play the episode? I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's for the that's for the viewers to go and see. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. okay. But you, know, you guys are both right. Like I, I I didn't realize until this point. Like a lot happened in this episode. Yeah, they 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 really do do that. That is really cool. Which um, I mean makes me really uh, hopefully hopefully I'm not, I'm not expecting too much, but sure, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Given that like bibliophile princess, where it's like uh, mm-hmm. boy, we're we're not even you know really getting into the heart of the matter with anything yet. Yeah. This it's like okay, we've got good progression, so now we can kind of postulate where the arc's gonna go. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not fun. Also, these are all real bands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. From the cute to the not quite so cute, uh, let's move on to Chainsaw Man. Yes. Um, oh, Pochi's cute. Pochi's yeah. very cute. In a demon chainsaw kind of way. Remember how we were saying that I was saying that if you were 13 and your mom might not want you to watch yeah. this? <laughs> if you're under 13, your mom's not letting you watch this. No. Yeah. Uh, no period. End of story. Um, Absolutely not. Yeah. Um, I loved it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, did either of you get the vibe of that that little demon dog with the with the, the cute Pochita with the, mm. with the chainsaw nose? Did you all ever kind of get that? Um, oh, God. Paranoia agent vibe. I just yes, very paranoia agent. Yeah. Absolutely, hundred percent. What paranoia agent did I miss? <laughs> it's a the key the 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 little doggy yeah. icon her, thing. Yeah, her, her little pink dog, the, the one that like talks to her occasionally. Paranoia agent. Oh god. Okay, I've not seen yeah. nearly that paranoia agent. Obviously, okay. I think I've, I think I've okay. seen like okay. three episodes, maybe okay. or two. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, and I'm not sure they were contiguous because I, that was another one. Oh, okay, late gotcha. night, late oh, night yeah, ones yeah, where it's yeah, like, yeah, I don't know what yeah, this yeah, you, is. I don't know. You probably caught are. bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, like, okay. um, but yeah, I, I mean, to that point, it is very possible that the, that is a reference. Yeah. You know, it's very similar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there was some. I, it wasn't. It was one of the, you know, Anime News Network, and then mm-hmm. Facebook tells you things that let, are kind of like that thing you like. Mm-hmm. And some, you know, where down the rabbit hole, there was a scene by scene comparison of the references, the other movie references uh, in various animes. And mm-hmm. there's something about Pochi in this okay. one. It's like reference to a an actual live film oh, uh, some okay. some other scene of like something that's from reservoir dogs and something mm-hmm. i'm like mm-hmm. oh, okay wow and yeah. it was a long listing doing okay. scene comparisons <laughs> i'm like okay hi jeez <laughs> all right yep yep um and then it's shinichi interesting i'm trying to remember who sh- uh matt who's shinichi and penroy agent i'm i remember the show but not all the names mm. um um, I just think of the uh, the uh, kid with the perfect teeth. Um, yeah. So basically, Par- paranoid age. It, no. Hmm? What? Hmm? No, hmm? I was just I remembered something. What is? Who's the one with little slugger with the bat? That's, that's one. Fair, that's one. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like. Yeah. Yep. That's one. Oh, parasite. Parasite. Okay. Parasite. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um. So chainsaw man. Chainsaw yes. Man, yes. Yes, back um, to that. Um, <laughs> down on his luck guy who is very down to, on his yeah, luck. <laughs> um, trying to pay back his his parents, you know, debt to the mob kind of thing. And it's, you know, $8 billion. Um, and uh, so he fights demons. Yeah. Um, and so he fights demons for them. Demons like that. Not very nice. Um, not pretty boy demons, sadly. Yeah. Um, different kind of demons. <laughs> um, and then things go poorly. Like, like, and just to define things, go actually, that's poorly, a great screen. <laughs> things go poorly. Um, yeah, very poorly. That, yeah. That's his father. Um, <laughs> uh, that's Mr. Chainsaw's man's father. Uh, so, it, it the whole thing starts off poorly with him, and it just yeah. doesn't get better mm-hmm. for him at all. And nope. there's a scene that I'm not going to describe that mm-hmm. happens due to this guy. Yeah, and it's 
you just go, okay, he's going to make it to the door. And he doesn't. And they mm-hmm. show you. And you're like, mm-hmm. oh, God, no. Yeah. And then they yeah. show you the repercussions of that and how he becomes Chainsaw Man, which I'm not yeah. going to spoil, other than the fact that they oh, show it. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll spoil it. I'm just trying not to show, like, you know, intestines flying everywhere. Right. right. You yeah. <laughs> so the massive ultraviolets. It's, yeah. it's, oh my God, it is over the top. Mm-hmm. Like, they basically uh, take knives and, and tear them apart and throw yeah. them as, as mm-hmm. the parts in the dumpster. And there's an actual scene in there where you see his dead face, mm-hmm. just like, you know, just like, ah. Uh, and then you realize that it's not attached to a body. Yeah. And you see her <laughs> arm over here and a leg. And then poor mm-hmm. Pachita is like barely alive. Mm-hmm. And then the thing happens and he becomes mm-hmm. Chainsaw Man. And and it's <clears throat> oh 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 my god. Um mm-hmm. just you know heads on poles. That's all I can say. <laughs> it's just you know, it's just like yeah. the song Heads yeah. on Poles, the old punk song, mm-hmm. Heads on Poles. Okay. It's just like, oh my god, just carnage mm-hmm. everywhere. Yeah. And and just to give you an idea, I, I do enjoy this show. This is for you mm-hmm. horror people. This is for you horror, mm-hmm. you know, um, aficionados. Um, if you're not afraid of gore and that kind of a thing, this is definitely going to be your jam because there's more to it. It's not just mm-hmm. blood for blood's sake, but mm-hmm. it definitely yeah. blood plays a role. <laughs> <laughs> blood got a check. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, it's it's it's. It's interesting because and so yeah, so he kind of fuses with the the little dog thing and, and it gets chainsaw head and arms. Um and so he can slice through everything. Um uh, actually I probably should have said from the opening credits. And I love and I was always wondering how like he activated it, and I just love how the fact yeah. that the pull cord's in his chest. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what happens yeah. if you strip the pull cord out? <laughs> ah! Ah, <that's> <laughs> ah. Um very weird opening credit sequence in all the best yeah 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 um they're not, they're not gonna show much i don't think oh well that's fine um but yeah very much very much crazy crazy ultra violence yep see I, I i i missed um actually we might get some stuff at the end I, I honestly think my mind would probably just break if I saw a giant intestine. There we go. My way. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So Chainsaw Man. Yay. Um, yeah. <laughs> definitely adolescent power fantasy. Definitely. You yeah. Know, everything's going wrong so I can fight back with my crazy superpower. Yeah. Um, I do like what they're implying that he basically gets this little team that becomes his new family. Yes. Um, hoping that that becomes kind of a theme that he kind of gets to settle in with people who can kind of um, protect him in a way. Right. Oh yeah, so him for being him. Well, and, and just to give you guys a point <clears throat> out there, out in Chatland, he actually really does want simple things. Like his yeah. life is so bad, he lives mm-hmm. literally in a hut in the woods, eating bread, literally a eating bread, 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 because that's <laughs> what he can afford. Yeah. And his his goals in life are literally have a girlfriend. And wanting mm-hmm. a normal life and having jam on bread, those are literally the things that he wants yep. that out of his life at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so how hopefully... bad? How bad yeah. do things have to be where those are your things? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chainsaw Man. Oh, yeah. nice, John. <laughs> um. So yeah, definitely some interesting directions it can go. Um, prepare some more whiplash, whiplash as you want to do it yourself. You are self Do yourself a... Um, actually, real quick, hold on. Um, Excuse me. I love this. I just love do it yourself. Um, that better? No, that's nothing better. Well, maybe it will. Maybe it is. I'm just going to try switching over to something a little different. Hmm. Ah. There we go. It's a little better. Okay. Um, so do it yourself. Very few chainsaws. <laughs> yes. Um, and, and power tools what, are definitely involved. And applied appropriately. Exactly. Yes. Mostly safely. Mostly safely. <laughs> well, mostly. 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 Um, so we have this. Actually, you know, I just realized what this reminded me of. Um, the Cat Returns. Uh, the Ghibli film. Um, Making it very much like Haru in the Cat Returns. Um, just kind of a 
sweet, cute, somewhat clumsy high school girl. Uh, just kind of making it, you're going through life, no real direction, no real whatever with her dog and cat and pig. <laughs> and pig. <laughs> she has a piglet for some reason. Um, anime. She's anime, <laughs> exactly. Um, um, and then she goes to school, um, has kind of the various school things, goes out back um, because of a, a run-in. Oh, actually, no, let, let's, let's point it out. Um, this, her issue is um, her bike. Um, she has a problem with her bike, right? That was the, the first big thing. Um, if you can find that bike. Yeah. So she whacked herself into a pole on a, on a bike. Yeah. She's um, a really durable kid. I mean, that's she's a very durable kid. Most people, but you know, like she's fine. Um, and then another uh, high school girl shows up and starts fixing her bike and just pulls out tools and does a whole bunch of uh, repairs on the bike and gets it all working and then kind of goes off. Main girl goes to kind of help her and discovers there's this sort of shed behind the school um, where this other girl is hanging out building stuff. And so um, she started getting interested in all of that um, and, and making things. Obviously, very soft style, very healing anime kind of approach. Very goofy. Um, her next door neighbor is uh, kind of the, the haughty girl, um, and that that whole trope. Also interesting, and John pointed this out: um, the kind of time scale of this, and the 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 thing about the schools. Why don't you talk about that? Well, we have we're in a slightly futuristic world because they have self-driving buses they have this large high school complex that surrounds a smaller high school complex yeah and it, they've topsy-turvy things where the clumsy girl is learning boring old history she's just learning yeah. boring old academic subjects where put pudding or pudding her next door neighbor, she's going to like the advanced school where they're learning all of these advanced skills and techniques and building things. And she talks about, you know, she in her first class, she built a vascular system that'll be used for surgery. So you flip the traditional ivory tower academic dry mm -hmm. approaches and the skilled approaches, and you make the skilled approaches the actual, the high point of education. Yeah. And that the sort of more rote learning of historical things. And I, I think uh, Yua says at one point, she's like, oh, I learned about Marcus Alurius Antonius. And she's like, oh, that's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, awesome. That's yeah. awesome. You've put skills ahead of just book learning. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I think they, they literally point out the fact that like this, the, the haughty, you know, girl who's ahead, she literally gets into a bow tech. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's like the pinnacle of learning now because yeah. that's what matters. Really interesting. Um, and yeah, another thing I think I really like, which I don't know if we can get a, a good shot of, but like there are yeah, there are drone deliveries all the, all the time going overhead. Yeah. Just just a little thing, just always little drones going going overhead. Really cool. Um, but then there's also like just enough little things going on in the background to make you curious about what's going on. Like, um, and again, John pointed this out, which I had not noticed. Um, all of her trophies. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What are they for? Hmm. <laughs> Intriguing. She's very clumsy, mm -hmm. but you know, are they yeah. academic trophies or something? Mm -hmm. I mean, what, yeah. what, does, what does that mean? So, so very interesting. You know, why all of the pens? You know, on on yeah. on, on the table, right? Like, why does she have forty five pens? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. So curious, um, but definitely more just you know, again, sort of healing comedy kind of a. Uh, Fun anime, so looking forward to see that. Um, also, along with um, the uh, one of the girls from Heike's Story, is in it for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> but she's so stylistically wonderful. So stylistically wonderful, <laughs> exactly. Her, um, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, all right, moving on to one of the surprises of the season: Eminence and Shadow. Vazrock. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to Vazrock. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. 
<laughs> um, so, Eminence and Shadow, yes. Eminence and Shadow, yes. So we're going to have to spoil this because that's what we do. Episode <laughs> one. This is, this is explaining how all this goes. Um, episode one is a very normal anime. A beautiful high school girl going to school. Um, head of like a, a, you know, daughter of the head of a Zaibatsu, all classic stuff. Uh, there's she's one, also an idol or was idol, or something like right. that. Yeah. Um, she, she says hello to this one boy who kind of annoys her because he's so quiet and introverted and so forth. And they have this really weird conversation and I didn't notice the bag. And I didn't notice how the bag is sagging, which is a hint. It is also a hint if you've ever seen Boogie Pop. Um, oh, and, I just thought of that. Yeah. Um, and so she has kind of her thing, and you're like, okay, gotcha. Like, we all kind of know where this is going, right? Um, with, with these sort of interactions and so forth. Which um, I had mentioned, it was like the uh, Psyche K mm-hmm, um, yeah. um, anime, where it's like, here's this girl trying to have a conversation mm-hmm. with a guy who just doesn't seem to know who she is, right. and she's kind of She's not super pushing it like in Psyche K, but it's like yeah. sort of a similar thing. Like, mm-hmm. I'm greeting you and you should know who I am. Mm-hmm. We've been in class for three months. Why do you not exactly. know my name? It's like, lady, yep. why is this that important to you? Yep. <laughs> you know, like, he doesn't care. Move on. Exactly. Um, and then they had this this fun little moment where he's, I'll see if I can, I can show you, um, where they just show him there, just looking out the window. And then they zoom in. Yeah, I don't know if we'll, we'll get there. Um, yeah. And he's just clutching a little um, hand exerciser. Um, but then, you know, things go on. End of the day happens. And then um, she gets kidnapped. Um, and things rapidly go downhill. Yeah. Um, as the guys argue about what's going to happen, and how are they going to pass the time? Uh, yeah. Peanut mm. Exactly, mm. yes. Were it that simple. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, which is where you discover that, and she mentioned in, in the past that she had a, a difficult incident in the past. She was an idol who got kidnapped. And you get this shot of all the photos, and I had not seen this when it flashed up, and you see her hands tied yeah. to the bed. Yeah, not good. Very not good. But that's okay. Which was which was where this just like right. I wasn't. Sh- I kind of knew from like seeing what the you know the preseason mm-hmm. announcement kind of things were mm-hmm. and reading a little bit about you know the description of it. Mm-hmm. So up to this point, I could not get the two things yeah. that I knew what was yeah. going to happen <laughs> together. I'm like, this seem is he is so is it like a fantasy? Did the thing I see is like all in his head? Yeah, and then you know, because we have such a normal high school kind of thing, mm-hmm. except for when he drops the bag, and then you're like, yeah. something's odd. Um, mm-hmm. And then this happens, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, things are going weird because <laughs> Batman shows up, yeah, um, or Crowbar and, Man, if you want to call Crowbar him. Man, yes, <laughs> Crowbar Man, um, and we have this whole fight scene between these guys and this, you know masked vigilante um what is it, and like, elegant ruffian or something weird yeah. <laughs> elegant, like a weird name for elegant so, yeah. ruffian yeah, Ru- okay. it's elegant ruffian or something strange I it's know, yeah. <laughs> like that. okay um but like one, one of the things that we should say uh, a crowbar man is because he he pulls out two crowbars and begins to use them in combat and then like as they're going through he makes this whole point like these are really useful weapons and like explains why like you can buy these in any store, and they're really good as like at size, I guess. Ton, uh, tonba, tonba. Was... Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah so like that. Um, uh, but you can use it for these, these various things, and you can use it and you can whack like this, right? And to be clear, like he's not cleaning the floor with them. Like he is not, you know, twenty-five year old Bruce Wayne, but he is. He is clearly trained for this moment. Yeah. Um, and he 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 does it. Like he takes them out in this like epic epic sequence, um, and, and yeah, very, a very 
nicely choreographed and yeah. interesting. They made yeah. it, you know, the, all those points you're, you're making about, you know, how he's using these weapons and what he's mm-hmm. doing and his, the physicality of that he's developed. And it's mm-hmm. like, I, I was, I'm not generally like a Shonen fan where it's like yeah. big fight scenes. Well, I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. I liked the intelligence of what was going yeah. on in this combat scene. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. great combat. Yeah. Um, I don't have high dive, so I didn't get to see it. <laughs> Um, and then, um, he gets hit by a truck. Truck could makes its appearance. Yep. He literally gets hit by a truck. And John pointed this out, which I had not connected. <clears throat> I wonder why the truck hit him guy who just, you know, probably got involved in a mob, you know, thing. Extortion hmm. deal. Uh-huh. Extortion deal. Like, ha, huh, Yeah. Probably not entirely accidental. Um, <laughs> and we go to credits, but no. Um, oh, actually, we didn't. We didn't watch this. I didn't even see this. Oh, this was a thing. Did we see this? Did we see I, the post credit stuff? I thought we did. Did we? Where he's going along and he's talking about how he's, oh, yeah, how yeah, he's right, trained right. for everything and this Absolutely. everything in his life. What would happen if he become the strongest? What would that mean? Absolutely, you're right. Um, so he isekai into a world of magic as some kind of like awesome protector dude. So, so again, imagine if like the grand mage of your nation was Batman. Yep. Oh, God. What? What, Steve? Nothing. Nothing. Steve Nothing. is so chomping at the bit because he doesn't have high dive. He can't see it. He can't get to this. Because, oh. I, because you know, I just need another Isekai in my life. Uh, I see. Oh, I see. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Um, with cute elf girls and cat girls and, and such. Yes. Yeah. I'll say it's on episode three, and I've watched up mm. through it, and it delivers. It just mm. it, it genuinely Perfect. keeps awesome. delivering, and it's it's good. You get some answers to some things, and obviously mm. much more mystery starts to unfold, but... Yeah. Okay. Well, I, think, I mean, I don't I have think high Steve, dive. Even though, even though you're like, ah, it's the guy. It's it's mm-hmm. it plays well that I think you'd enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I don't want to crap all over the isekai genre. It's just that there's yeah. just so much isekai, and it just yeah. sounded like you know, as we're as you guys are talking about this episode, mm-hmm. and I haven't seen it. I'm like mm-hmm. going, oh, this sounds really interesting. This sounds really mm-hmm. interesting. It sounds interesting. And then, of course, the magic word is a guy you get transported. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, for F's sakes. Okay. But, you know, and, I mean, if it's good, then it's good. Yeah. Then, then, well, then great. Then and, I'll watch it. But, you know. And, and this is why it's interesting because I think this might be the first time where I've seen the isekai used for purpose. Okay. Right? Where, like, it's not just random guy gets isekai Like, no. The fact that his new role in the new world gets informed by all the planning he, he made in the old world. I think that's what makes it interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Well, as John has seen. Yeah. I mean, I I'm enjoying it. I like the I like the way that they've done it. And they've already they've already thrown a twist in the in these first uh, three episodes nice. where it's like you're looking at the image you got right now and you're like, oh, that's it. He's just in the world and there's this. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, no, there is this. Mm-hmm. And then other things happen in very yeah. quick succession. Okay. All right. It shifts uh. things around. I'm like, mm. huh. okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Cool. cool. Okay. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I, I've enjoyed the three episodes of it so far. And I enjoyed certainly yeah. the first episode. It piqued my interest. So. Cool. 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 Mm-hmm. All right. Something. I'll report further, Steve, to get you okay. tantalized to exactly, us so that when you yeah. eventually get yeah. high dive, you can see it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. How much is high dive, by the way? Not, not to uh, promote, like seven bucks a month, something seven like that. Say, so, yeah, yeah, it's going to be yeah. somewhere similar to Funimation Crunchy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. Um, whiplash time, encouragement of climb. Yeah, see, now this is why I definitely want to buy a high dive because I want this, I really wanted to see this, but mm-hmm. I didn't. Yep. Um, so this is the remake of Encouragement of Climb, basically, as I understand it. Yeah, so that's what you were saying about it. Because I was like, "Well, you sure this isn't a sequel?" And you're like, yeah. "No, no." Yeah, because when I looked it up, it. I when I looked yeah. it up, I think there had already been four seasons by this point. Yeah, it's been around for a while. Yeah, yeah, it's been a couple of yeah. Um, so yeah, 
Um, but it, it, you know, quiet girl, not very athletic. Um, makes a makes a friend. Uh, <laughs> um, who is uh, let's just say energetic. Um, Did you say Nadeshko and Rin? Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. <laughs> Roll's kind of reversed a little bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's there's a uh, hijinks and Sue. Um, yeah, they they, just, they um, end up deciding to go on uh, little things. What I really like about this is they, they do. Yeah, I mean, I mean the other girl is like, let's go climb Mount Fuji. It's like slow your roll. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, but it is like let's um, like. Then they decide, let's go up that hill near our house, right? And then, oh, like, there's another, like, little hiking trail in our town. Like, let's take that trail that's, you know, like, 45 minutes or whatever, right? So it's very gradual, just these trips they're taking. Yeah. And you still get, like, uh, like I, I've got, I showed Brent the my caribou kun pin from yeah. outdoor uh <laughs> sports caribou from uh yeah. euro camp and it's like you get that moment where it's like oh they go and they look at sleeping mm -hmm. bags and they look at you know it's like you've got this i you know it the biggest regret i have for having watched this is that i saw the encouragement of climb the first season when it happened and there hadn't mm -hmm. been euro camp yet so i didn't ah. understand the joy that this mm -hmm. could be Mm -hmm. And it's like I'm kicking myself that I didn't just watch it at the <laughs> time and be like, wow, this is the greatest thing ever. Because <laughs> now, if this is a complete remake, I am just going to be glued to this damn thing for the next, mm -hmm. what, 12, 24 weeks? I don't know how yeah. many weeks. <laughs> yeah. I, I I had really wanted to watch this because, it, it, as everybody knows, it's your camp. I mean, everybody loves mm -hmm. your camp. And this is, yep. and you know, I, I did this once upon a time. And mm. and um, these you were these a young things. high school girl going to an outdoor <laughs> exactly, exactly yeah no wow um no I, I actually worked at Eastern Mountain Sports and I did the, ah, the yes climbing, old EMS and, uh, yeah yeah and um, that kind of stuff so this you know in a way it takes me back and of course I mm -hmm. still have the interest of looking at this, these kinds of things and sure. understanding it and and just you know just like when I saw Akira a, a few weeks ago in the movie theater mm. and enjoying the fact that new people were watching it and mm. getting involved this is. The kind of thing I enjoy as well, where you know, watching, yeah. even though it's fictional, and you know, you're watching mm -hmm. people going, exploring the topic and learning and enjoying that they're learning the thing and they're finding things yeah. new and enjoying the fact that they're finding something new and, and, and mm -hmm. doing that thing. So that's why I want to watch this. So, and the little educational function. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. for that sleeping bag, if you're going to go with a synthetic mm -hmm. one, it weighs more. And then they show you like a little infographic about like mm -hmm. the, the thinsulate. Uh, sleeping bag or you could go with the more expensive one which is which is down but it's lighter mm -hmm. and then you know a little more information on that i'm like oh thank you oh <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean a damn thing to me but thank you i, <laughs> I really appreciate it give me warm funny it's like you're you're you're, you're instructing me I, I i feel comforted thank you you watching anime again it's educational mom exactly <laughs> i'm learning stuff leave me alone <laughs> Uh, so yeah, healing Are up bunny the girls involved. Oh, they, they <laughs> stay out of my room. <laughs> oh dear. Um, what would last time? Human bug university, human crazy university. Yeah. Ugh. Depending on your thing. <laughs> um, yeah. So full disclosure, this is based on I think originally a series of flash animations, then a YouTube channel, um, which is very much this very you know simplistic style. Um, and so they're adapting into an anime series. Um, and so it's, it's just this. It's literally just this with lip flaps. Yeah. There's no animation. There's no movement. Like when characters go across the screen, it's literally just you know hopping the yeah. the, the drawing. Right. Yeah. Um, well, the point I had made, it's like when somebody leans into something, yeah. it's not like an upper body lean oh, no. that goes down. It's like, uh, no, literally uh, the character model just goes. <laughs> 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 it's like, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So as I'm watching this last night, and I was just like, okay, interesting, because I like watching weird things. And this is about, you know, a guy being about to be executed. And they actually, you know, kind of go through the first part of it where there's an actual story where mm -hmm. he de develops a friendship with, with the guy, the guard here. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, it, it, you know, this is not a spoiler. It comes yeah. his time. It's mm -hmm. time, time to die. And <clears throat> then from that point on, from the execution on, Yes, the guy gets executed. From mm -hmm. the execution on, 
I, I, I told you guys, I closed my eyes and I woke up 55 minutes later. And, <laughs> you know, because it was just like this information dump of here's how things work in Japan. Here's a da 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 da. And when you don't have a very good animation to begin with it, to go yeah. along with it, to explain it or whatever, you after a while, you're just like, oh my God, where are we going from here? Yeah. And then you get to the point of the, you know, while we're trying to figure out how, you know, basically you survived your own execution. And by the way, they bring up a historical point where one dude actually did survive his, his execution mm-hmm. in Japan. Um, <clears throat> they go, the courts don't know whether or not to try again <laughs> <laughs> or to let you be. So in the meantime, we're just going to study your insanity. And <laughs> let's go. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and so, you know, it, but I'm, uh, yeah. you know, it's just, it just, it got to that point where it jumped the shark in the midway through the first episode. I mean, mm-hmm. that's just like, it's not horrible. It's just not, unless you're a fan of that particular channel, as you were describing, yeah. Brett. Yeah. If you're a fan of that channel, then you're going to love this, and that's mm-hmm. fine. Yep. But for the rest of us, we're just going to be like, uh, yeah. Okay. Was, uh, <laughs> when is episode two of Chainsaw Man coming out? Come on, mm-hmm. uh, let's, let's go, let's go. And, yeah. And, you know, as Brent and I talked about, when, uh, when, mm. it, it's a stylistic choice, right? Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like it yeah. is the it is exactly what people followed. And yeah. that's what they went with. They didn't do anything mm-hmm. else to, you know, make it grander. They didn't do anything to mm-hmm. smooth it out. It's like this yeah. was what was the, what people <clears> wanted. wanted. They were yeah. very happy oh. with the style. Um, Homestar Runner. Have you ever seen the Homestar Runner? Or strong bad cartoons. Yeah. Um, on- online, very you know simplified, you know graphical style. It, yeah. you know, there's no way to make that look big budget. Like it, it's meant to be the thing it is. That's very much what this feels like. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. arguably, they, if they had done well financially, they could have paid to have a huge budget. But I don't know that that would have worked for this. You know. Yeah. yeah. So, but it's certainly interesting. It's certainly interesting yeah. to see that this is a thing. So, mm-hmm. all right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> well, we survived. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we do this, right? So that we come across these shows, and folks are like. Human, have you seen? Did you see that human bug university? It's like, yep, don't worry, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to watch it. Like, here's why this is, you know, you're not missing some, you know, key critical thing right. in the first episode, which makes it explain. No, it's, it's okay. Um, moving on to I'm the villainous, so I'm taming the final boss. <laughs> um, the Comparisons to my next life as a villainous are required by law. Um, yeah. like it, it, it is very much that. Yeah. Um, it is pretty much exactly that. Young, you know, young woman gets uh, uh, otomade. Otomade, yeah, <laughs> otomade, exactly. Um, as a villainous in the story, um, but decides that she is going to fight back. What makes this interesting is that she basically goes to the demon lord, who is the the big the big final boss of the story, and tries to because <clears throat> ally with him. And so, whereas my next life of the villainous is more about rewriting the original story, this is about saying, okay, who are the various characters? I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm not gonna try to romance those guys. I'm not gonna try to change my relationship to those guys. I'm going to change the world situation. So I'm not gonna get killed. Um, and so she kind of seeks out the demon lord and uh, uh, tries to uh, um, make an alliance with him, and basic, basically. Which I I I really enjoyed that concept because I was <laughs> when I started watching the you know this first episode, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I think villainous, you know, not I'm the villainous, but um, I, I think the other other villainous was a better show all the way around. Okay. Um, but what got me was the idea of not changing your death flags. No, mm-hmm. just going straight to the final boss. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. now, now you got my interest on this because mm-hmm. it's not just it's got a lot of copycat kind of yeah. prospects to it, but you have a different sort of theory of how you're achieving the same end. You're not going to mm-hmm. die, 
Yeah. But you're not changing everybody in the whole character cast mm-hmm. to get them all like, oh, we love you. You're wonderful. It's like, mm-hmm. nope, screw the rest of the character yeah. cast. <laughs> yeah. Go straight to the final boss mm-hmm. and be like, okay, how can I put this together to make this so I'm going to be on your side when all hell breaks loose? Like, mm-hmm. yes, okay. You got me. Good, good. You got me. That's an interesting yeah. twist. I'll take. So exactly. I had not seen the other show that, that yeah. you know, I, I mean, I know of it. Sure. And you know, talking to you guys, so, so I got that feel for it. And this, as I'm watching this, I, I was kind of like, you know, as we were watching, I was just joking along with it. But the thing that I think is fine for me and appealing for me, I don't know if this is something I'll come back to or not, but I feel like if I did, it's it's because it's irreverent enough. She's irreverent enough. Yes. You know, where it's just kind of like there's enough of that joke that's not corny, but just kind of, oh, okay, mm-hmm. that's funny. That's, that's kind of yeah. clever kind of yep. thing going on where you just kind of go okay it's <clears throat> the characters are more relatable are, are relatable you understand where everyone's coming from and you know it's just kind of like let's make it because some jokes out of this and kind of honestly serious um, um, situation mm-hmm. and it is i understand that this is very much as a guy uh because mm-hmm. we, we yeah. get we, you, you get you get the the 30 second you know <laughs> oh here she is with cancer in the hospital and her parents yeah. are off to the side you know, silently sobbing and whatever. But, you know, at least this is something along like, like, you know, she's taking, and it's not about, you know, taking charge and all that stuff. For me, it's just about, okay, how can we do this in a humorous way? Mm-hmm. Exactly. I, I don't, I wouldn't call this a comedy, but mm. it's, 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 it's definitely, you know, humor is definitely a key part of this. Yeah. Agreed. Um, that's actually a really good point. Like there's, Comedy, there's a little bit of drama. Um, there's there's not really romance, kind of, but right, yeah. by design, cut by the shifting, focusing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a really good point, actually. I, I hadn't thought about how this this isn't hitting a lot of the standard sort of elements you'd expect in the first episode of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, sufficiently differentiated, I'll, I'll put it that way, from yes. my next life. Um, but as whether you like it, it's more whether you like the, the various elements. Yeah. If you liked Katarina Kleiss, I think you'll probably you'll probably find something uh, that mm-hmm. has merit in this show as well. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely in uh, they're definitely like bunk mates. Yeah. Um, genre wise. I'd um, love to see a crossover. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> yeah. Those, those two. Those two together. I mean, uh, they'd be pretty, oh, they'd be pretty kick ass. It'd be <laughs> I mean, awesome. Um. We've got to a similar um, uh, tonally somewhat. Um, I somehow gotten stronger when I improved my farm related skills. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is a premise. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to the CGI uh, dragon in a bit. Um, but basically, main character is a farmer, um, but also living in kind of a video game world, a fantasy video game world, because they could have stats, which is weird. Um, and then. He has just farmed and kind of maxed out his farming skill and all all related skills. Uh, and then, of course, you know, things happen. Um, let's see here, um, he maxed his farming skills, and he's like, what? "Is, is this something like only like seventeen? Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> wow. So, so is this something like you know he killed seven with one blow, and everyone's r- misinterpreting that statement? No. <laughs> It's more that because he has farmed like crazy, um, uh-huh. when he now, if he now like gets involved in things, he is very powerful for okay. some reason. Like, like he can punch really hard. Strong. Yeah, yeah, because he's got the uh, okay, hex, gotcha. I guess. Um, and so basically, you know, um, monsters attack. The king and the princess are out. There's a, a so so control. basically, he's the guy that when the monsters attack, he picks up the hoe. You're just like, oh, actually, that's appropriate for him because he's going to slaughter everybody. Right. With the exactly. Hoe. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's very I'm not going to say it. Um, but uh, <laughs> yes. So he um, it was after ten. We can say it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized where we went with that. I was just uh, like, yeah. Oh, exactly. I I, uh-huh. I totally yeah. used the wrong instrument. Okay. It's, got it's, it. it's totally fine. Um, it's literally what he does. I mean, in fairness. Um, but yeah, so basically he, he defends the king and the princess and so clearly he's going to be involved in that and get his harem more or less. Yep. Um, was that not Isekai? Like he is a person in the world. 
Um, and I think they, they found a nice sort of middle ground for protagonist Kuhn where he's, he has enough personality um, to be just fairly interesting to kind of follow. Um, but also by being a kind of farmer out in the six, like he hasn't had a lot of exposure to things. Yeah. So sure. Fine. He's, he's a fairly simple guy. Um, and so he's, he gets to go out and, and do his kind of fantasy stuff. Um, a little weird that he has, um, he can beat magic with the power of farming muscles. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And that he apparently can use magic himself to do things like till soil, which mm -hmm. then turns it into like a crazy monster stomping capability. <laughs> like, I'm not sh okay, sure. Yeah, I, mean, I think it said you know as we as we saw it, it was like yeah I you know I'm, I can't wait to find out what the background to him is. Mm -hmm. You know, did did his parents save a goddess or a god or right. something like that? Yeah. Their child has been blessed with these wonderful things and. Rather than going out and be an adventurer, that just you know, mom and dad said, "Hey, let's just make him a farmer. He'll be out of the yeah. fray. Everything will be fine. <laughs> he, who cares if he's OP? He's going to make the best mm -hmm. carrots and radishes ever, and then exactly. be wonderful." Yes. Um, the only tiny quibbling I have about this is, I'm hoping they're going to dial back the part where it's like, "I just want to farm. I just, I'm just a mm -hmm. farmer." Like, okay, just I'm watching it through to the end of it because I like the show enough, but just that mm -hmm. little quibbling point just. Drop the whole. I want the farming life. Just mm. now, move along. We, we get got, it. Got you're you're, you're yeah. equivalent of darling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although the new era Sayatsura, I do love it? saying darling. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, I, yeah. that oh. may that may get. Me, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that said, I would pay if this had a crossover with Green Acres. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Zsa Zsa Gabor is the evil <laughs> queen. Oh God, no! I want the I want the city life, darling. Oh, oh dear. Is that um, Eddie Albert? No, was that? Was that? I, the... No, no. It's been a. It's. It's, it's been, been long enough. Minute. I have no idea. Yeah, I can't remember who it was. Yeah. Okay, but moving on. Yeah, so I yes, guess. I enjoyed very much farm related skills. It mm -hmm. it seems like an interesting notion. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be not to be mean to the show. It'll be relatively inoffensive and just yeah. a, a fun yeah. watch, not like yeah. life changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, moving on to Legend of Mana, the Teardrop Crystal, um, which kind of goes back to what we were talking about with um, uh, Human Bug University. Um, this is an adaptation of a super popular Japanese RPG. Um, yeah. It is very much made for people who played that RPG or are familiar with the RPG and want to want to know what the story is. If you're not into that, this is not going to be very open to you, sadly. Um, it's just very much. It, it feels like it is made for everyone who played the, the, the RPG. Yeah, um, we had a really difficult time getting into this one. Um, I didn't even complete it. I, okay. I, yeah. I, got, I got so far, and I was just like, and again, I didn't hate it. Yeah, you know, it wasn't it wasn't offensive. It wasn't the hateful or anything like that. It was just like it was clearly I was, you know, it's just like walking into like if you're uh, an anime fan and walking into a you know French period drama club, you know, it's just <laughs> like yeah, okay, you know, this is not my thing. You know, that's, that's kind of I can understand what's happening, but I'm not really <laughs> happy about it. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it was animated that. fine. The, the yeah. character designs right. were, were okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, some of the, you know, like the Pokemon type little creatures were mm -hmm. pretty simplistic, kind of, I guess, mm -hmm. like, you know, the non evolved Pokemon. They're really yeah. Right. simple yeah, yeah. shapes mm -hmm. and simple things. And it just, I have no idea about this franchise. So it mm -hmm. just, yeah. I, you know, I have nothing to work with. So it's just like, I don't, mm -hmm. it's not. Yeah. What we saw for what we saw was not engaging enough where I'm like, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll put that aside. I, I think I said reference Princess Connect. <clears throat> you, you know what else? That this I did? actually like that. Yeah. I've never mm -hmm. played the game. You know, it's like, okay, that's, but this, you, you, you know what, you know what this didn't do for me that another mm -hmm. thing did was <clears throat> it doesn't make me, 
it does, doesn't make me want to play the RPG game. Unlike yeah. Demo, remember when we saw that right? One, yeah. that animation clip? We were like, oh, where is this anime? And we found mm-hmm. out it really wasn't an anime. And the and the game's interesting. Mm-hmm. Or at least yeah, I know you played it, but uh yeah. But otherwise, this I'm just I was just like, um, okay, I got stuff to go on to, so mm-hmm. let's go. Yeah. I also appreciate that John and Chad also pointed out the weird six pack abs. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And also Demo. Demo. Natural. Demo. 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 Um speaking of comedies we will move on to the little lies we all tell which has not been licensed <laughs> yeah. um oh <laughs> we managed to stumble across this one um so i i, I remember I, I described it as basically haruhi to mia without haruhi yeah yeah <laughs> i'm slowly making my way through that but i, I but it's, yeah. it's, it's it's totally that and it's I don't I I watched and mm-hmm. I was fine with it and you know I it's probably one of those that I will probably come back to off and on over the years and mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. eventually yeah. and eventually finish it five years from now. Yeah. Um but it was just you know just some of this stuff was I was just like okay, she can only read the minds of other girls and that girl's a dude and that one's an alien and that one's a ninja and mm-hmm. hijinks and sue i will say the character design for the ninja in her ninja costume is completely mm-hmm. adorable yep yep and um and uh you know the <laughs> the story between you know it's a twin you know the guy dressed up as mm-hmm. as, as the girls is, is a twin and i'm like oh okay, okay i guess we had to do that to get in there yeah and you know I'll tell you what the little girl, alien girl, reminds me of is the little guy in um, or on um, oh uh, a host club, the the, the little yeah. guy in 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 there, in mm. that plays like this really immature baby type person, mm. and really she's like the it's like third rock from the sun kind of thing where she's mm. actually the colonel in this like yeah you know, <laughs> yeah space force alien space force ready to like wreak havoc upon the universe. Mm-hmm. If only her spaceship hadn't so obviously crashed. Right. And she had to change. <laughs> and she had to alter everybody's mind and trick them, going, Oh, I'm their best bestie. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I laughed. I mean, there were yeah, like, right. Yeah. I yeah. was yeah. not rip roariously laughing. You know, like, mm-hmm. oh, this is the greatest thing. But um mm-hmm. yeah, I mean it's entertaining enough. It's yeah, not gonna be top of the list. Sure. But it's certainly going to be something when I, you know, when I run out of the other things that I'm mm-hmm. watching, that it's like, oh yeah, I'll finish that up. Yeah, yeah. But like any comedy, like it's going to hit some people more than others. Yeah. Right. right. So yeah. It's one of those things where if you like the, you know, not quite law random, but just the, uh, you know, oh, here's the situation here. How's that going to work out? Because she said that, and you know. Yeah. Right. Well, I have a feeling um, that like what we got in this first episode, where we have them sitting around, kind of having a discussion, and mm-hmm. we're seeing like the, the their what's going on in their minds, and I have a bad feeling that that's going to happen often. Yeah. yeah. So that you're going to have some oh, moments is... where they're not where they're not in the classroom, and you see like right. ninja girl is encountering other ninjas, or mm-hmm. the you know space girls doing something else. That you know you're going to see these little snippets, but a lot of it's going to gravitate back to them sitting in the classroom, facing each other, and then having these funny ha ha conversations while psychic girls going oh but uh, oh, mm-hmm. uh, oh. that's like okay you know that yep. that could get a little long it's a four coma pretty much right yeah. so it, it's very much that simple gag manga formula where you can draw you know two of the characters and half a desk for your you know for the panels you know and that right that, I think it's across all yeah. you need to but there's 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 no big set piece <laughs> yeah things here yeah i completely agree Speaking of big set pieces, though, it is now time to talk about Mobile Suit Gundam and the Witch from Mercury. Oh, yes. Um, because this thats this this is how you do Gundam, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you introduce mm-hmm. Gundam to a teenage audience. Um, actually, news dropped this week. One of the um, uh, things that, that, that was kind of inspiring them to do Witch from Mercury is that um, a group of teenage uh, teenagers were visiting Sunrise and they walked past the Gundam area and went, uh, oh, that's not for us. And he kept on walking. 
Oh, yeah. But yeah. still, that's a good inspiration point. Exactly. Um, and that's so... my grandparents anime. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Let me get my what? walker out. <laughs> yeah. I remember when we had people on the spectrum piloting <laughs> Metra. <laughs> Oh boy, um, and uh, our, our main character is definitely not on the spectrum, although she is quite nervous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, go, go ahead. ahead. No, 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 please. Yes. <laughs> Fine, I'll go ahead. I enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> and, uh, but it, but uh, it, it's when I watched this, I actually started with the prologue mm. episode, right. and then went into episode one. And it, and and if you do that, just be prepared. For mm. for the whiplash, the whiplash, because yeah. it's totally so. That's the warning I'm going to give viewers mm -hmm. if you haven't watched this yet. The first episode is definitely Gundam, Gundam, Gundam. And you're going to all go this, and you're going to have three, this. basically. <clears throat> yeah, mm. and <clears throat> and it's just it has all the tropes and all the stuff, and it's I'm and it's got that, that sorry. yeah, and it's it's got that gritty, grotty stuff going mm. on, and then and you but it ha it's important because you learn. The thing you need to know when you go into the next episode. Mm -hmm. So then you learn the thing that you need to know. Then you go into the next episode, into the actual first episode where the girl's grown up. She, mm -hmm. Ari is four years old in, in the prologue. She's now about what sixteen, something. Like yeah, that. something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, and this is what she's piloting, and everything else is very not complex, but mm -hmm. it's it's she's going to what's basically a battle school, and yep. um, you know, kind of a thing, and. It's the total shift is just you're gonna be like ah ah my mm -hmm. neck my neck because it's just mm -hmm. it goes from dark to oh okay here we go mm -hmm. you know and, and yeah. something not something fun it's still oh. at a serious level but it's still fun and um and the yeah. you know it's just one of the points of this is that they want to get away from mecca that connects the person to the machine. Mm -hmm. And they want the machines to be dumb, if you know what I mean, and have the mm -hmm. pilot be the, the actual I, brain of it. And that's not her Gundam. And, no, um, no, and yeah, and there's some just interesting, funny things that go on. Like, you know, mm -hmm. they do duels in this school, in this battle school. And, you know, one of these duels is between this guy who is uh, betrothed to the daughter of the president of the council of everything. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and that's what he wants, and she doesn't. And then, you know, hijinks ensue. Mm -hmm. um, I use these terms purposely because I almost want you to feel the whiplash when you watch <laughs> Prologue and then going through episode one. Because it's just so, I cannot stress yeah. how different it is. And that can be off-putting for people. So I just yeah. kind of want to prepare people for that, that eventuality. I think... What they did is the prologue is for old school Gundam fans mm -hmm. to say, don't worry, this is serious, this is dark, all this stuff is going on. And episode one is for folks not familiar with all that stuff, not with the franchise, They're like, okay, we're going to let you in easy. We're going to give you, a, you know, this, this sort of lighter tone in the first episode. And then everyone will die, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone you care about is going to get killed. Yeah. And, it's a school yeah. anime with with Mecca. Don't worry, just tune in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you'll like it. <laughs> oh god. Right. Um, and it should be pointed out, it is absolutely the first episode of Revolutionary Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. They are, they follow that that plot line very much for this first episode, um, which is also interesting because of the implications of that. Because Utna is very symbolic, um, which implies that they're not necessarily they don't necessarily mean to have all the same implications of that in this real world. Um, so I'm I'm very curious to see where they're going with that. How much of that is yeah. just kind of we're going to throw this in as not throw this in. We're going to include this as a reference and as a way of kind of structuring our relationships. Um, but um, curious to see how much they kind of hold to that pattern throughout the course of the series. Right. And I would give them mad props if, like, somebody in class is is the character model of Utna. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like so they're doing something or other, and you listen, long pink hair like, walks past. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Walk past, or they just swing like somebody's in the gym. Mm -hmm. They're having like sports yeah. class, and you see Utna. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're like, hey, and then Anthony gets hit in the face with a volleyball. Like, hey, <laughs> what's up with that? 
Yeah, that, he was waiting awesome. for a, a shot where you know, we can see a bunch of bells going back and forth. It's like, okay, I know where I am now. Wow, wow this is cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's it's very much that that structure. Um, some of the interesting things is that Eric, the uh, the, the girl, is uh, she's been sort of hidden away uh, in Mercury for for basically her, her entire life, and so the reason she's nervous, the reason she is not getting along with people very well, is because she hasn't interacted with human beings other than like her mother and whoever else is out there for a long time. Like she's the, the country girl in the big city all of a sudden. Yeah. Um, and so I like including that where, you know, your protagonist is almost always a fish out of water, but giving it that reason that it's not because she's, you know, on the spectrum or it's not because she's, right. you know, a jerk or whatever. It's like, no, she's, she has to find her place and then she'll be fine. Um, so that was cool. Once you um, get the girl off the farm, you can start getting her edumacated. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> um, um, uh, and so yeah, so duel happens at the end, um, and uh, um, yeah. uh, Eric shows why she belongs with her Gundam. I'll just put yeah. it that way. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you saw the look on my face with that when, the, when that fight was going off. I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, needless to say, I might tune in for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I might yeah. as well. It's possible. Certainly possible. And oh, also, yeah. by the way, put that on the calendar. Holy smokes, the composer. Yeah. Yes. The music in this is epic. Yep. Cool. Which we've seen a few this season mm. that have had their their yeah. musical scores have been dialed in. Mm -hmm. Some that yeah. had no mentionable score at all, mm -hmm. but then yeah. some others where it's like, wow, you really you fit the tone with the music really really well. Yeah, agreed. Wait, wait yeah. until you guys watch Cyberpunk. Oh, yeah, I know. I gotta get there. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see here. Um, let us switch over to. Oh, actually, do I? Oh yeah, I'm I'm a bit out of order here because of spelling. Um, so let us talk real quick about love flops or Renai flops. Renai flops, yeah. Um, the, the guy with the banana. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, so I will admit, it is sometimes refreshing to have a. To have a harem anime that fits all the tropes of the harem anime. This is literally the main character going to school and bumping into each girl in the harem mm -hmm. in a an etchy way um, that embarrasses them in some way. Um, and gets him slapped. <laughs> right, exactly, and gets him slapped, yes. Um and so he's going to school, meets all these girls, you know, all the things happen. Um, you know, yes, all the things happen. And, just, you know, I, I just, this okay. is the, I haven't seen this, and this is the view I get. Right. Oh, how dare you? I love you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, well, I mean, okay. <laughs> he's oh going God, to school. Okay. He's going to his new school. He's never going to meet any of these characters again, right? Yeah, no, not a chance. <laughs> no, they're not all going to be literally sitting around him at school. <laughs> yeah, uh, if it truly felt, and in a, in an amusing and enjoyable way, it mm -hmm. truly felt like somebody sat down and said, "Here you go, kids. Here's a textbook <laughs> on how to do a harem anime." Yes, exactly. <laughs> just read through that and just do exactly what that book says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like. Yep. And here's this show. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, oh, we were talking about it. Like, this is going to be somebody's first hair of anime. Yep. Oh. Right? <laughs> like, oh, okay. They're going to be like, wow, this is genius. I've never seen anything like this before. Oh, well, let's talk to you about what the you know, last 30 years have held for all of us. <laughs> 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 you go watch some of that backlog and you tell us how fresh this is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, again, it's another situation where I would say, you know, mad props to whoever proposed this because it is mm -hmm. such a classic tropey yeah. goofball run that it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, okay, thank you. This this mm -hmm. could have been made 20 years ago and it would have yeah. me chuckling. Yeah, and yeah, right. Here we are. You haven't tried to be creative with the with mm -hmm. the genre. Instead, yeah. you've just be like, yeah, hey man, there it is. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, 
this is a thing that works. Let's yeah. do the thing. <laughs> um, speaking of harem, uh, we'll move on to more than a married couple, but not lovers. Kind of sort of harem. Yeah, this is a weird one. Um, I love the visual style. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I really hate the premise. <laughs> it's just, made, I mean, this did not need to be made. I mean, mm. not that anything really needs to be made if you really want to yeah. get philosophical, but this really did not need to be made. <laughs> I mean, it, well, well, we had one that was um, what, like four or five seasons ago where I mean, it was Japan's declining birth rate has yeah. resulted in the government, you know, making uh, uh, marriage arrangements for like high school kids. And oh, yeah. the, the story, I don't remember what the name of the anime was, but it was like this sort of star crossed kind of thing where it's mm -hmm. like same thing. Guy doesn't like the girl he's paired with. He mm -hmm. likes another girl. That girl yeah. likes somebody else. And then we're trying to figure out, you know, musical chairs. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah. I, I, that seemed like it was a odd stretch. And it's like, mm -hmm. uh, okay, this is high school marriage practicum. Yeah. yeah which like, is it, even so, weirder. Like, why which, did which, you need it? So here's, here's the suspension of disbelief you have to have for this anime. Mm -hmm. That any parent would allow their child... To go into this marriage practicum of a of their daughter living with a boy or vice versa mm -hmm. for 30 uh, for 30 days as if they were a married couple but steve there are locks on the bedroom doors and, and there's separate beds i understand but there's also the couch yep oh well they just don't do that right that's, that's yeah. right happen. they just, just wouldn't society. do that right yeah. well yeah. We, we were joking when we were watching this and we we're like you know if they cut to the evil villains who are actually trying to reverse the declining birth rate through this program, I would believe it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so, you know, of course, you know, it gets obvious, you know, um, they love start... after world domination. Yes. Something like that. Where it's yes. like this evil yeah. organization, like yeah. trying to you know, boost yeah. the birth rate. They're like, oh, okay. So, mm. you know, obviously hot Galru girl here is with mm. nerdy, you know, game boy who's in love with the other girl who's actually with the hot guy that all the girls want. And he's a really nice guy. But Galru is just a person you just, I mean, <clears throat> you don't even like this girl. I mean, no, they make her pretty, but she's mm -hmm. unlikable. I mean, thoroughly unlikable. I don't know if they meant to do that. Yeah. But they did. Well, I, I've yeah. seen forward of it. Mm. She gets better. Okay. Okay. So well, I mean, is, she has there to. There is development. Yeah. There is character <laughs> development, which is. Yeah, she okay, has yeah. to. Nice. But, yeah. but mm -hmm. yeah. And so it's just, it, it. all of this is forced. All of this is just kind of mm -hmm. like, after a while, you're just like, that's when you start looking at the anime about the ones where, where it's like, you know, the girl's out. What was the one where the girl's out, homeless down the street? She's sleeping with everybody. And this one do, a dude just picks her up. And he decides to be her father figure. Oh, At least that that bit that yeah. becomes something mm. more, you know, like practical. I guess I don't mm. know, but this mm. just is just like goes in this direction of just like let's force everything we do mm -hmm. and force the outcome to something yeah. that is just okay, whatever. And I really thought this was going to be a Yuri show based on the first fifteen seconds, honestly. right? Yeah, yeah. So the basically the girl that the guy wants to be with. Trips falls into the back of the Galru mm -hmm. and like is clutching her, her face is on her butt, and it's mm -hmm. just like you know, typical Yuri kind of stuff going on. I'm like, oh, okay, a Yuri show because you know, I, I do like romantic shows. This is, I don't know what the hell this is, but <laughs> it would, that would be a great plot twist, you know, yeah. To mm -hmm. have Watanabe get with um, uh, Shiori, Sh Shiori, yeah. yeah, and then hot guy with nerd boy. <laughs> there we go. Everybody, everybody swaps partners, and it's yeah. not at all what you expect. You're like, oh, exactly. It's like, what was it that that series of uh, of um, as we saw Brent uh, long gum, long gum guy? Long oh right, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll be up for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, it's anime. So it, yeah, other, yeah. It, it doesn't have to make any sense. Mm -hmm. No, but it, I'm you know I've watched for it. I see there's some character development, so I, mm -hmm. I I'm going to keep watching to see how they're doing this. Mm -hmm. Episode one, what I did not understand is what was the need for this premise. 
Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? There's a lot it's, of yeah. there's a lot of different things you could do that uh, this is, you know, the same kind of thing has been done a billion yeah. times. Why is it that you make this kind of cringy like mm-hmm. marriage practicum thing mm-hmm. as the as the vehicle for this when you yeah. could do this in just a normal high school setting? Because it's hilarious. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I was to say it was a little <laughs> hard on some of the hilarity there. Yeah. <laughs> So, but like I'm, I said, I, I've seen forward enough to see that mm. they're you're getting some character development, and I, which I have a feeling, or I, I have a hope mm-hmm. that there is some meaning to the development I'm seeing that okay, is, yeah. will be addressed as it goes forward. And in fairness, it's going to be one of those things. Often in anime, you know, either the first episode is amazing, and then it kind of, eh, or the first episode is kind of, eh, and then it, it gets better. Right. Yeah, this may be one of those things too. I, but I would say that the character designs. Mm. Are very nice and the galru is just uh, while over the top i'm like yeah. i almost feel like this is a shame that they're that this character mm. design is being wasted on this show yeah imagine well, if project how about Aiko, the, what if it this yeah. what if you what if you did a reboot of, of uh project echo and you used mm-hmm. her as echo yeah oh absolutely well what, what do you think of the end credits steve did i make it to the end Talk, talking talking about character yeah. design did I make it? Did, no, I don't think you, I made it to the. You end. made it to the oh, end. Wow. Oh, yeah. you missed out because they. I love, and I said this to you yeah. last night, Brian. Mm-hmm. It's like I, I love what they did with the end yeah. credit design, mm-hmm. where it's okay. just like, oh, you sold me on that entirely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that would be something. Yeah. Okay, I get what. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. It's clip. really yeah. cool. Yeah. It's 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 super stylized and it's mm. such a cute way that it's just like, Oh my goodness. She's adorable in that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Whoever they got to do that end credit sequence. Yeah. Can we have um, that anime? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah right. <laughs> Which I had said ab- about my dress up darling. I love yeah. that little kinetic anime mm-hmm. of them. Like, you know, swirling around at the end where it's like, oh, I want that anime. <laughs> I want my dress up darling. And that one too. Both. <laughs> Can I have both? Now, John, I believe you saw Management of a Novice Alchemist, which I do not have video for. Yes. What do you think of that? Um, it's it's another one of those where it didn't break any new ground. Okay. Um, girl dedicates her life to going and being like a, sort of the best alchemist. So she goes to okay. the like Royal Alchemy School mm-hmm. and has no friends. All she does is go and hang around. Um, as I think, I'm not sure whether it's a part-time job or whether it was, it led to a part-time job at like an herbalist shop where an alchemist, um, master, like Royal master alchemist frequents. Cause the ladies, okay. f- f- the w- lady who runs the shop is friends with this alchemist lady. Okay. So you kind of get this development into a sort of apprentice kind of mentor mm. scenario. Mm. Um, and then girl graduates after you know x number of years and she has no friends she has nothing ah. so it's like she's great she's had top scores she's you know she's done the thing it's awesome mm-hmm. and her mentor is like okay congratulations these are the things you're going to need to do you'll have to spend something like you have to spend 26 million gold <laughs> to buy like the entire volume set of mm-hmm. all of alchemy mm-hmm. and she's like what? <laughs> so then it's a matter of scrimping and saving and doing this and that. And it's like they blissfully killing demons. Don't address well, they don't address how she gets oh, up to the money. They just say, yeah. you know, I've saved, I have mm-hmm. I've skipped meals, I've done this. Mm-hmm. And so it's like they you spare us that. Yeah. <laughs> she buys the set and her mentor's like, Congratulations, now we're gonna get you an alchemy shop. Mm-hmm. And then you get her going to the sticks. Cool. And the alchemy shop that her mentor sets up for her is a complete hole. <laughs> like it's it is the you know plucky girl walks out of the woods. It took me a month to get here from the <laughs> oh, royal gosh. capital. I've been through trials and tribulations, mm-hmm. and here's my shot. Oh my god, mm-hmm. <laughs> this whole thing looks terrible. Mm-hmm. And then just the development of her being in a new community, being the stranger in the community being shown around, meeting the folks that are there. And then, you know, at the end of the episode, you get a little bit of, like, 
how is she going to fit in? You know, the people are really welcoming. She's nice. They need her services that, you know, this is going to be a start of a grand new adventure. That's like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm going to watch this. I've, I've watched a few more episodes into it and it's cute. It's got some interesting action to it as it's developed yeah. further. Um, the mentor lady is interesting. It brings yeah. in more than just what was the last season, the pharmacist to another world. Mm-hmm. It brings in more than just like, I'm going to stir this pot and make mm-hmm. a potion. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, it brings in cool. other aspects of her school learning mm, that nice. now we, you know, so it's like this first episode does a really good job at laying the foundation for new girl, very talented, small community. How does she develop as an mm. alchemist? How does she hone her skills and then integrate herself in with all this diverse group of people? It's nice. like, okay, yes, I like that. It's yeah. kind of sort of healing. If it, if it hadn't gone with some other more dramatic action, mm-hmm. I I would probably go back to it like Pharmacist yeah. to Another World. I, I bump another episode of that every few weeks, every month. Mm-hmm. This one, I'd probably watch it week to week because it's got mm, just okay. enough action yeah. to it. So. Mm-hmm. Cool. Glad to hear it. Um, moving on, every so often an anime comes along that I don't Changes know what it's... World. <laughs> that, yeah, I, I don't know what it's going to be coming in. And then it starts and I'm like, okay. Okay, I think... Oh, you charmed my socks off. Like, mm. you made this for me. <laughs> Whether I like it or not, like, this hits so many things that I would enjoy. And for are we, me, that... Are we back to Blue Lock again? Exactly. <laughs> um, no, we are back... We are uh, moving on to My Master Has No Tail. Yes. Which is about yeah. a cute little Tanuki girl. The girl on the right, the brown-haired girl, who then... Um, who goes to Kyoto during the Kaisho era. So this is all set during the Kaisho era. Definitely sort of things are changing in Japan. Um, And she's going to go off and she's going to be a trickster and she's going to, you know, trick the humans um, and and do all that stuff. Um, But um, it doesn't quite work out that way. (laughs) So you have sort of the, you know, the, the goofy comedy of her trying to trick people and that just doesn't really work at all. Um, and then, just uh, full disclosure, she ends up in a Rakugo performance, yep. uh, which is basically a form of Japanese comedic storytelling. So the performer comes in, sits down, starts telling a story that has comedic elements to it. Um, Rakugo is often, as I understand it, it's a um, um, a lot of the stories are classic stories that they're retelling, but then there's also some, not improv, but you're also encouraged to write your own and have your own right. sort of story sure. as well. Um, uh, and so she gets in, she, she listens to this, this Rakugo performance and is uh, herself uh, 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 charmed by that story and finds herself uh, giggling and enjoying it. Um, and then, of course, as you might imagine, um, she basically gets sucked in to working with um, her um, and uh, and going back to the Rakugo and decided to stay with the Rakugo performers um, and be involved in that. There is just enough little um, elements of sort of Japanese culture in this yeah. that are fascinating. Um, the idea that this is, we're talking about this, this is that liminal space between old Japan and new Japan mm-hmm. uh, where like Tanuki don't really fit anymore. Like all the old ways are going away. Um, and, <clears throat> uh, and what, what that means for people, what that means for tradition. Um, also interesting because it is about Rakugo, which is indeed a tradition that has kind of gone away. Mm-hmm. Um, this picture is very appealing to me to have, have mm-hmm. heard the Tanuki uh, yeah. Sitting there and, or standing there in front of the the ship that's you know got the streamers mm-hmm. and it's about to leave yep. and all that stuff and it's just a it's a very provocative image right there. I yeah. have not seen it again because I have, don't have high dive so I haven't seen this. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's a very very provocative image right there, and it kind of encapsulates everything that you just said about mm-hmm. you know, tradition and leaving that. And, 
future and all that. Yeah, they did a great, I mean, a really great job at showing, like, the theater itself is just, you've got the, the musical score in the theater that's playing feels like really old school Japan. Mm-hmm. And then you've got automobiles driving around, street cars, like yeah. street mm-hmm. lamps. You've you know, you've got like this modern society colliding with these old traditions. And you know, mm-hmm. the, here's this little tanuki. I don't even know what island she's from. She is like yeah. some from the super sticks. Mm-hmm. Like there's next to nothing yeah. out there. <laughs> and you get this, you know, pre-modern era, but still modern. Yeah. You know, Taisho era Japan, where it's just like wow you know you can feel you can feel somewhere that's uh, and she hasn't she reacts to it but she doesn't voice it but i got a very Mm -hmm. distinct sense of that that clash of time Mm -hmm. where her disappointment i can't trick people is also kind of grounded in the aspect of things have moved on this it's not like it was so these these tricks don't work. I'm kind of out of step with this, and yeah. you know, here I am in this completely different world. And it's mm-hmm. like, especially when she's doing the ghost, the little ghost flicker fire, yeah. and the street lamp comes on, yeah. Where it's like yeah. just that that notion of like, haha, you know, a hundred years ago this would have been terrifying, mm-hmm. and a street lamp comes on, and it's mm-hmm. like, oh, what what a nice juxtaposition yeah. of the old and the new. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, also, they got my first laugh in this where she shows up in front of somebody with no face. Yeah. Um, and then we smash cut to her in a police officer, a police officer's thing going, no, I was actually born this way. And, yeah. uh, no, I, I don't need to go to an institution. No. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, officer. <It's> like, <laughs> That's fantastic. The officer was like, oh, you poor thing. Let me, let me help you. Like, oh, darn it. And his yeah. police box, just the design yeah. of his police box was, ah, oh, you know, sometimes when you're, there's architectural details in anime that you just, mm-hmm. you're sucked in by the architectural details of things where you're like, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I have to tell you guys, this is what is, has um, tipped the scale for me to go into high dive. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. This is... This picture right here in the picture before, or, or you know, the picture of her and say when you're talking, John, when you're talking about yeah. the, the structure of the police box and you, mm-hmm. and you take a look at that, that's just effing beautiful to me. Yeah, and I'm 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 just like really enjoy. So okay, I'll mm-hmm. I guess I'll be buying high dive when there we, when we get off offline here. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember you could always binge it for a month, cut it right, and yeah. then like right. come back yeah. later, binge some more. You don't have yeah. to pay for it forever. By the way, John Shack makes a good point. His police box is bigger on the inside. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm. Interesting. Turns around, right. it's David Tennant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Now, here's the thing. We've been talking a lot. We've been going through a lot of anime, but I just I want to just encourage you all. Just play it cool, guys. <laughs> God. <sighs> uh-huh. <laughs> Um, so I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, it is about a bunch of sort of clumsy guys. Yeah. <laughs> they made a big point about that. Um, just kind of going about their lives, you know, and, and clumsily. doing a silly thing. Clumsily, yes. And, you know, forgetting to bring their wallet to the convenience store and all the kind of embarrassment of all that kind of stuff. Um, this is based on a popular, I think it was a web manga, they, they said, um, that just like really – was super popular because apparently the idea was, hey, this is so low stakes. There's no romance. There's no all of that stuff. It's just watching attractive men do this thing. But, you know, we're not trying to, impl- you know, it's just, it's fine. It's just cute guys doing this stuff. Um, what Vance Rock should have been. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, um, does this qualify as healing? I would, yeah. I think this, this, this bits. I mean, because it's certainly it doesn't. It, there's no anxiety that's induced no. in this by the show. It's like, no. it's just you know, it's kind of relaxing to see them just going about the day. Oh, that's funny. Mm-hmm. Huh? Look at that. He forgot something. That's yep. silly. Mm-hmm. It's very much the vibe I have of it. It's just yeah. it's it's watching this. Also, I I really like the animation style. Like the art style is, is yeah. kind of cool. It is nice um, yeah, actually. And there's this kind of realism to it of how they're 
how 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 they move. There's just this sort of detail to some of these yeah. things that I like a lot. Um, oh, there's what would you call it? Um, boy, it's in the back of my head. Where um, anthropological um, like movies and TV shows and anyway. stuff where like you watch it not necessarily for the the plot or whatever, but for like the details of the society they're in. Okay. Right, okay. like there's a, an aspect of it to this where I just like I, I enjoy seeing modern Japanese society, you know, portrayed and uh, just the kind of everyday life, the, the kind of stuff that you don't see in a, um, in, in a little lies we all tell or in, in you know, whatever right, Chainsaw yeah. Man, right? It's just here, the, here's just what a convenience store is like, as opposed to some kind of demon hybrid thing that kills zombies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, one of the things I I appreciated was the odd. Well, not odd, but the mm. the interesting use of detail and sort of sort of a blurred effect, like this mm. this image you've got there is like perfect for it. His collar of his shirt, yeah, it's just like this incredible detail mm. for a dull ass sweater. Yeah, mm. <laughs> you know, it's like, and it has little these little drips of like very interesting the the bottle of green tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. very interesting sharp details in what is otherwise like some somewhat featureless bland foggy mm-hmm. kind of and it's like it draws your eye in a very interesting way that, that yeah. I kind of hadn't expected for this given like it's not it, you know it doesn't have any particular great plot thrust where you're like oh, yeah. they're, you know, <laughs> they're going to become you know Vazrock no, right. no. <laughs> they're just going to go to school mm-hmm. get something to eat yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's that times four. Um, four times four exactly. Times four. Um, we had another show that kind of came out of nowhere. Again, one of the shows. I'm like, ooh, I'm intrigued. Uh, Raven of the Inner Palace. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Steve? I sh- I just <laughs> okay. Go for it. Go All for right. It. So, um. One of my personal jams that the things that I enjoy watching are Chinese imperial palace dramas. <laughs> so, Congratulations. You know, uh, yes, <laughs> you were all over this. As I was just, oh my goodness, this is this is. I was, you know, got about two seconds into this, and I'm like, about, ah, uh, yep, this is my wheelhouse. <laughs> um, it was very reminiscent uh, in certain aspects of of Curse of the Golden Flower. Anyway. Um, a Chow Yun Fat movie said to Ooh. Tang Dance. Huh. Um, yep. So anyway, so this is um, for those of you who may not watch these things. Mm. Um, this is very much this is tropey. It's it's all about the imperial Chinese imperial court and how things happen when they're it, you know if you're talking about like French romance stories, you're going to be talking about mm. the, you know mm-hmm. um, you know there's Versailles. the court of Versailles. This is basically kind of the Chinese version of it. And there, this one, this particular story has that uh, supernatural element where the raven is this consort, but she's not a, um, <clears throat> a sexual consort. She's actually something that emperors actually use to affect things and outcomes. And they mm. come to her with problems and, and such. And you come to real, and while there's some silliness that you see here, like with this with this bird of doom, <laughs> literally, this is supposed to be the bird of doom. The chicken um, death. Yeah. And you have this wonderful character design of the, of the Raven herself. And, mm. you know, so he shows up as a disinherited prince of the current emperor. And mm. this happened because his mother was, was murdered. And um, by the way, these are not spoilers. His mother was murdered and um, he was disinherited through the machinations of another courtesan who is mm-hmm. the courtesan to, to, you know, the grandfather who talked the father into disinheriting. Anyway, so he has a station within the, the the overall imperial palace, which is a huge ground. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's like it's it's like the Vatican City. It's a huge thing. Yeah. And so this is she, the Raven is has one of her own little places inside of this complex. And so he goes to her, and he has, and the episode one is is uh, Jade Ear, about Jade Earring, and he thinks it might have something connecting to his mother's murder because he wants to prove that the, the older courtesan is, is the murderess and wants justice. That's basically mm-hmm. what he's aiming mm-hmm. for. And he's using this and <clears throat> she is because of her station in life, because of what previous 
um, emperors have decreed and mm. previous incarnations of her have been able to enjoy is that she really doesn't get told what to do or anything. Like she can mm -hmm. live her own life the whole nine yards. So she can say no to emperors and that's mm -hmm. just it. And they have yeah. to accept it. So anyone who comes in asking for her help has to do, not that has to do anything, but it's up to her whether or not she wants to help. Mm -hmm. And she does have abilities, but as she points out, I'm not a God, but I can do certain things. Mm -hmm. And so he, and the cute part of this is him bribing her basically to get her to do his his will. And um, what's that? Let's see if you can find the image of that. Yeah, um, you know, so he like with food, you know, so <laughs> yeah. things that she doesn't normally because she ensconces herself in this place, she doesn't really get. Mm -hmm. um, so lots of over the top set pieces a lot of over the top oh, character yeah. designs um like i said this is just gorgeous and it is pretty mm. pretty spot on for this type of drama um and it's just, if this is your kind of jam like it is mine then this mm -hmm. is it hits all the right notes yep Absolutely. can we watch it again yeah <laughs> <laughs> um yeah really cool really cool I just say I, I I'm not into Chinese court life, but mm -hmm. it's like, wow. Okay, I'm yeah. really intrigued by like, how they yeah. play this. Yeah. If anyone's seen Vampire Princess Miyu, there's a bit of that mm. sense of it of being a sort of a supernatural mystery. Although she does, she has some supernatural powers. It's unclear how much, but it's it's nothing like Miyu has. Right. Um, and right. You're definitely not you know going around and exercising ghosts or anything so far. All right. But yeah, interesting. And it was um, good in Japanese, I thought, wasn't it? Because John yeah, was asking yeah, yeah. voice actors, yeah. Chinese or Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all Japanese. Yeah. Um, moving on to Reincarnated as a Sword. I Which wanted I to see this. I wanted to see this. Yeah. It's a cool one. <coughs> Fran's um, cute. She is very cute. She is weaponized cute. Literally. <laughs> yes. Um, so, Protagonist Kuhn gets reincarnated as a sword. Moving on. No. Um, <laughs> While the Sailor Scouts all keep watch. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Thank goodness. Um, yeah. Uh, can't get away from Sailor Moon. And uh, now I have the live action Sailor Moon theme in my head. Dang it. <laughs> anyway. Um, you know the only moon you can't see up there? Or the only, the only planet you can't see up there? Is Uranus. Oh. <laughs> It's been a long night. Um, <laughs> and off goes John. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I had to work with something, man. <laughs> Sino over here. So here's the um, uh, so sword reincarnates, discovers it can uh, it, it can move on its own. Um, and so it proceeds to go around and start killing things to level up. As you would do. Um, Murder. The sentient sword. Yes, exactly. <laughs> a sentient serial killer sword murder. That's what it is. Um, so it needs to go ahead and do that and levels up like crazy. Um, and then you, 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 you smash cut to um, Fran. Yeah. Um, who is a slave? Um, magical collar, forced to do whatever her owner says. Whole nine yards. Yeah. Um, it's bad. It's 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 really terrible, um, and then you get the scene where um, they get attacked. I remember where that was. Um, here. Oh, and sort of gets stuck because he's flying around trying to find stuff. Um, sees a clearing, and so flies down to the clearing, sticks himself in the in the in the clearing, and realizing. The reason it's a clearing is because everything's dead because something has like cursed the soil, which means he is now stuck here because it's cursed <laughs> soil. So he can't move anywhere. Um, and he's stuck here for like months, I think it is. Just yeah, like, it's, it's quite a long time. Yeah. Um, and yes, the, uh, the, uh, the caravan gets attacked by a two-headed bear, which seems like a bad thing. Yeah. Um, um, and then, you know, bad things start happening to all the people involved. Yeah. Um, including the, you know, the, the the main guy ordering all of these slaves to provide, you know, um, 
a distraction, which they have to do because of the collar. Um, uh, she decides to fight back, which I, I quite like, um, which does not work. <laughs> but um, ultimately, she he's nearby. He calls her. She goes over. She picks up the sword. Um, whereupon the budget kicks in. <laughs> um, oh, Lordy. Like, they hired somebody specifically for the fight scenes in this to make them awesome. Huh? Um, I, I, obviously, I can't show them to you, but oh, 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 oh yes. More of that, please. Um, and so, yeah, she fights back. She kills it. And ends up going off on adventures with the uh, the sword. Um, um, oh, uh, uh, actually, I sh I should point out, um, I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> the uh, the you know the master comes over to to find out what happened. The sword goes. Is this the guy? She's like, yeah. Sword then proceeds to murder him telekinetically. Oh my god. Like literally, like head twists around. Yep, he falls over backwards, and then uses uses firepower on the contracts to to end the slave contract and and end her slavery. So it's like, yes, that is that is the right answer to that problem. Yes. <laughs> um. So yeah, so she she's able to go off with him and uh, and you know have the adventures. Which I thought this. When I initially I had seen the announcement of it, yeah. I was like, "Okay, cute cat girl. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm on board just to at least watch this. What yeah. is reincarnating with that? What a weird concept. I don't, I don't know. That's going to translate real well. I, you know, <laughs> like, if you're going to do isekai, okay, thank you. Thank this yeah, is different. exactly. This is, <laughs> I had not expected this at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, I, and you know, they took that premise, they mm -hmm. ran with it, and they because it's very hard to have a sword by itself. Yeah. So, like, you've given it telekinetic powers, and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, this is just ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> sure. Okay. Yep. I'll, I'm going to just see how wild you're going to go with this. Mm -hmm. Just keep rolling. Just keep yeah. feeding it to me. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> well, I think they made some, some strong choices here where, like, it's not a harem. Yep. I'm sure other girls will show up, right? But it's clearly him and the, and the cat girl. Um, and so it's going to be kind of through her eyes, which I like. Um, like she's going to be the one actually <clears throat> interacting with people, with, with people while he can kind of assist, which I think is an interesting premise. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's also, you've got the development that you're going to have between them, mm -hmm. him as, you know, she showed teacher master guy since yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and her that it, it, Om, it's obviously in no way in the same sort of <laughs> same sort of orbit. There was the what was it the forest spirit one where girl Ooh, and spirit are in yeah. love but they mm. can't touch, mm. and it's like that. Like I said, not in the same orbit at all. But yeah. you've got the development between him mm. as a sword and her, mm -hmm. where they have that chance to develop the relationship yeah. that can never be a rom com. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. sword. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. It's it, the, exactly. you can't consummate a relationship with a sword <laughs> in that fashion, but no. you can have a very interesting and deep connection emotionally to one another mm -hmm. in this context. You can actually develop that because yep. of the fact that he's an intelligent sword. And I was like, mm -hmm. you know, that's another element where I'm like, yeah, that's really interesting because you don't mm -hmm. have to have romance, but you can have them love one another and yeah, care exactly. One another. I'm yep. like, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. that's that's really cool. <laughs> totally, totally agree. Speaking of ridiculous, uh, Shinobi no Itoki. <laughs> yeah. ah. this was hard. Really, I enjoyed this one a lot. Yeah, I, I've I've watched now three episodes of it. I enjoy it. It's okay. good. It's yeah. good so far. So I the first part of it was fine like you're mm -hmm. showing the <clears throat> the you know the aged animation mm -hmm. and then it got into this part and i was just kind of like okay let's let's get to the point let's get mm -hmm. to the point let's get to the mm -hmm. point and it just seemed to take a little too long for me Fair. and Fair. and totally but 
But, but once it got to the point, mm -hmm. <laughs> then it was like, all right, we're switching the gear into overdrive, turning on the not the nitrogen, and off we go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So it just be patient with this, folks. Be patient mm -hmm. with it. Just be patient with it. There is reward. Trust me. Yes, there, there is reward. So. Yeah, things happen. <laughs> yeah, and it keeps um, accelerating. I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Just cool. keeps accelerating. Cool. <laughs> like, damn. Um. So yeah, I, protagonist Coon ends up, you know, involved. He is involved in a uh, shinobi family. I think would be an, an accurate way of putting it. Yes. Um. And you know, wackiness ensues. Um. But awesome wackiness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, cool action, fun premise. Um, yeah, enjoyable. Speaking of hijinks and suing. Oh, I didn't get to see this yet. Or is that right? Yeah. Darling. So this is the remake of original Or um, Oh, boy. I would, yeah. Um, I would describe this as original Or Sayatsura with all of the rough edges filed off that would that would be difficult for modern audiences to kind of get into. Okay. So for example, um Hikaru simply when he's with you know a girl can't stop looking at other girls. That's the extent of the lecherousness. Yep. Oh uh, okay. Right. So wandering it, eyes. That's wandering eyes. Yeah, that's that, that's that's about it. So like there's no panty raise, no none of that kind of stuff, right? It's 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 pulled back a little bit. Um, um, that said, it's very goofy. It's very ridiculous. Um, it does not hold back on a lot of the other concepts of Earth's um, uh at all. One of the cool things is um, how they changed Lum. Um, I would say change, but they're going to evolve Lum, um, updated her hairstyle a little bit, you know, added a lot more color to it, which I, I like a lot. Also, interestingly, which I had not noticed when we pointed out, um, for some reason, I still haven't, I, again, I don't, I don't know. Um, if I can show you, um, it's not wanting me to show you Lum for some reason. Um, it changed her eye color. So we're gonna figure hmm. out why that is. That has not been explained yet. She has green eyes, um, which she has had until this year, uh, and now they're yellow. So that's interesting. Could be the tiger, you know, idea. I don't know. Right. Uh, but otherwise, same premise, same idea. One of the things I really appreciate is that as they're doing their thing, where he's trying to, you know, grab her to save the world, right? Um, you see how she starts to kind of appreciate his tenacity over the course of all this. Um, and so like her love, maybe that was the right word for this, <laughs> but her, her, her interest in him is kind of laid out over the course of the episode, like a lot. Um, and then of course, it, you know, darling, <laughs> it, it, he's, he's betrothed to her and whacking distances. Um, but yeah, no, they, they do not pull out. Like all of Earth knows that he did this. They know that, that Lum is living with him. You know, he's on the news. All all that stuff is still very much there. Yeah. Um. He, he gets shocked by Lum. All the things. Um. It's all very much there. Well, it it so feels like two love Ru. Like okay. like yeah. they they must have watched Ursayatra and then that's. Like some of the premise, Space Princess shows up. Oh yeah, absolutely. And yeah, yeah. accidental, like, whoops! Now we're getting married, and mm -hmm. then wackiness ensues. And so it's like, okay, now I really love Tulubro. So getting yeah, yeah. back into the start of Ursayatra, I think mm -hmm. I will enjoy much more. Like I, I enjoyed Beautiful Dreamer. Yeah, that was funky mm -hmm. as hell. Yeah, but I do not have a background in Lum and any of the rest of the characters. And now it's like this. This feels fresh enough. That I that I, I'm, it doesn't. It's not like trying to go back and watch original Gundam again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, it's been freshened up some, so my eyes yeah. are like a little more accustomed to the style. And I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. you know, that's 
Yeah. That's now where I can get into this and I can join you guys in understanding more about it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Um, also interesting, that in, it is set in like 1979. Yeah. So rotary phones, all that kind of stuff. So I, I think it's, it, it makes sense. Like if you try to modernize it, it would just change many things. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Um, but you, you bring its look, you freshen the look, but keep the mm -hmm. same kind of, uh, keep the yeah. same time period. So yeah, so, uh, thankfully it's one of those things where if you like Ursayatra, I think you'll enjoy this. If you've heard of it, and you're like, what is that Ursayatra? This is a great way of having cool. it in. Which means we get to finish out with our second top pick uh, of the season. Uh, <clears throat> like, I, I've, got, I've, got, I've got an a oh, a pain in my side. I just uh. Baz Rock the animation. Um I'm not going to fast forward this because this is the anime right here. Yeah, um, literally. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bold so, move on their part to do yeah. nothing but sit here in a room and talk. Literally, literally, you fast forward. I, like I did last night, I started. Mm -hmm. I didn't really watch the whole thing because I get fast forward and I'm going, no, this has to be no. Okay, yeah, this they're oh, okay. They're still sitting. Introduce. I'm the cute one. I'm the blah 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 blah. blah. I'm like. I, I, how, why? Mm -hmm. What's going on here? I don't. I think Brent I, pointed out the number of thirteen-year-old uh, uh, oh girls God. that have posters in their rooms yes. right now of all yep. these guys. Yes. <laughs> yep. And this is all the background that they always wanted to know. And this is this, and this is it. This is I yep. am so not yep. the demographic. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> this is in some ways the apotheosis and the nadir of the, you know hot guy uh you know band anime where they have figured exactly how little they need to do yeah yep that is exactly how little they did and there you go it's you got it done boom and, and, and folks in chat land we are not exaggerating yeah. this really is it like we are now let's see here um yeah no we're now 11 minutes in and they're still just talking around the table. Yep. That's that's, that's it. That, this, this is the show. At best, you get a couple recollections or imaginings, but it, it always comes back yeah. to this. The talking and, at the table. I mean, in fairness, there is a, a plot line where they are they they start they're they're actors in a movie, and so it's what's going on in the movie. But even that is completely boring. Yep. Um, yeah. No, it's just it's just this endless amount to this. So. If that's your thing, great. All more power to you. God bless, not me. God bless, not us. Yeah, let us know out there in the chat how oh my you God, enjoyed you know, this. I did, when I did, we hit I, the end of the series. <laughs> I didn't notice this, but this, this on this picture, the character design mm. of the blonde—that's mm. Yuki from um, Gravitation. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that connects. Dragon All right. characters from other things. Oh my God! <laughs> Why not? That will do it for this, for our seasonal anime preview. Yes. Um, 27 anime from the new season. Hope you found that useful. We're going to take a quick break and then be back with some anime news. Um, oops, wrong thing. There we go. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. We will see you then. <laughs> 